like have a nice gentle intro to the episodes and i'm like you don't think that just coming in and saying i poop today at the right at the beginning of the stream is in our style it is i mean i i took a couple I? I mean what do you want it's either that's, that or connor farts you know that's true that's that, that's always funny though <laughs> Sure. That's always evergreen. That's that's <laughs> that's the nuclear option. That's that's my stamp of approval. <laughs> to to get a laugh, it's just it's just as easy as a push of a button. Literally Watch for me, I have several. Do you, you want to know what I miss that I don't actually miss, but I'm gonna say I miss it? What's that? The sound of my cat screaming through the door while I'm trying to record audio for this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's yeah. it's bittersweet because on one case it's like you bastards, but on the other case it's like oh you bastards. <laughs> cat. How you be conditioned by the cats? You cat owners. Oh wait. While Gerps, while Gerps stares menacingly. <laughs> Dude, Gerps is the peak animal. What a perfect animal. <laughs> she worm and she sit. Perfect. Ribbiting. Absolutely ribbiting. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Unexpectables. <laughs> Woo. I'm nervous. We're. We're here. We're yeah, once again. We're we're slows. We're slowly closing in on the two hundred mark here for episodes. I just knocked over a spoon. <laughs> Sarah, why are you nervous? Because I'm new and I'm learning. No, you're not. You okay? How long? How long have you been in Prince Division? But this isn't Prince Division. It's it's, it's same. Prince. It's the same channel. Same people know you. I know, but listen, Sarah. You, I'm you I'm just roll bigger numbers. <laughs> yeah, for real. That and come on, like you know everyone. It's it's what like me and Zero, are the only two that you don't play with regularly. I'll oh. have you know, I'm gonna put down on this contract that I wanted it. This. <laughs> what? I'm hoping. Yeah, write me with contracts. Yeah, sure. All right, whatever. I'm just yeah, hoping my shit rolls from Sunday will be nice today since I rolled so terribly on. Ah uh, yes, on that I game saw those. Played. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a How's good everybody time. doing today? Chat, you doing good? You ready to How watch? How are you, chat? Sorry. Grungans and Dragons. I know I am. Are you entertained, chat? Hold on. You, let me, are let you me, not entertained? Me. Vote now to watch us get boned by the homebrew Feywild. Yo, Steve. The fucking someone just posted earliest frog fossil and is 240 million years old. Thank you. Holy shit. This is thank Honest. you, Twitch chat. I want to uh, see what that motherfucker looked like. Actually, a well, lot like her. We, we should probably go down the horn and introduce ourselves, what we're up, getting up to, uh, before we spend too much time here. Uh, Bosco, where can they find you, and what are you up to? They can find me here. Ah. Dang. I was not a PD. We got a, I'm we, sorry. We got, a little, we got a little bit more that time. Didn't get you can find the skip. Well, Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you? What are you? Uh twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Uh I have tonight and I have one more day off tomorrow, and then I'm technically supposed to be done with my time off. I'll see if my wife let lets me work. Um let's see. I've got a video that I'm going to be starting on on the main channel talking about uh, Shuten Doji from uh, Fate on Fate Go Online. That's been a video that I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. It's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a doozy. Um, aside from that, I've got a billion other ideas for the Gaiju Perspective channel. Uh, the next one I got to get out is a video talking about the Last Samurai. Yes, that movie. Um. How my favorite onsen of all time got shut down and the stupid reason it did. Uh, so you can learn about how Japan uh, land laws work, because that's fun. Uh, Stream-wise, I don't know. I've been... Um, oh, no, I do know. Starting this weekend, there is a... Um, not real-time trade. There is a turn-based uh, strategy game called Skulls of the Shogun. It's literally about a general who is too angry to die. And he takes over the afterlife... It's amazing. Uh, the soundtrack is absolute bangers. The art design is great. Uh, it's got a very unique feel. Uh, please be there this weekend. It's going to be a lot of good fun. Other than that, I've got a lot of updates that I'm working on, and hopefully they'll be done 
sometime this month. I got a lot of updates coming on that I can't talk about just yet. So, yeah, stay tuned. Awesome. Uh, Zito, where can they find you? What are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito. Season Backlash on Twitter. Ever rank it Almanac on Patreon. Aloysius Guide to Social Acceptance is still on DM's Guild. It'll be getting an update soon, so you'll get even more bang for your buck. Like, I think it goes from, like, 29 to 34 races in total. Uh, as for what I'm streaming, uh, Card's taking a little bit of a backseat because I'm making a Halloween pack. Uh, when that's done, I'll make a post about it. Beyond that, uh... There is a lot of demos that I picked up. Demos of games that I don't even know if they're good or not, but they look really fucking cool. The first couple of ones I played were pretty fucking sick, like Inscription. Uh, but if you've never heard of these games, neither have I. But we're going to figure them out and see if they're even worth it together. Games like Dead Estate, Evertired, that's a mood. Uh, Axe Olatl and Unsighted. <laughs> all of these demos, all of them on Steam. But we're going to find out if they're good or not. Indie games. I just pictured what Axolotl looks like in my mind, and I hope it's accurate. Uh, is it a is it a it's, Axolotl it, holding an AK forty seven? I was I was picturing holding like an axe, but it's a K. It's called Axolotl. Oh, so it's oh. like AK. It's it's basically that's almost up. as funny. From, right. from what I've from what I've gleamed at this game, it's kind of like a nuclear throne, but with an axolotl. Oh, I see. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, Sarah, what are you up to? And where can they <gasps> Who's find that? You? Who's this new person? <laughs> Who is this person? Monty, you know me. Who are uh, you? I'm. <laughs> I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an H, Anthony Willia. Uh, my boyfriend is pushing me to shill. I shall do so quickly. Um, uh, Phantom Breaker Omnia just dropped their English dub trailer. I voice Em in that. She's a girl with a bunny, and she hits people with glowing a glowing piece of rebar. It's great. <laughs> and um, the fifth episode of Honor at Magic High School dropped, and I'm in the dub for that. I play Toko uh, Sukui. Sh Sukui sh uh, I can't pronounce her last name. Toko. She's a little gremlin. I love her. Ah, <laughs> uh, good. Welcome, welcome Excellent. to the room, Sarah. Yay. Can, I, uh, can I say one quick thing? Because I actually just realized sure. and Chad is yelling at me about it. Uh, yeah, me and Joe Cat's pl uh, Cobalt Plush is one last day. Today's the last day to pre-order it. <clears throat> oh, crap. You got a link for that? Uh, I can cre I can conjure a link, but I may as well get that out of the way. I also uh, I made a I made a The Room reference with the Cobalt and the Goblin Plushie. And it, it, it's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Tweedums oh. with the link. Thank you, Miss Tweedums. Thank you, Miss Tweedums. I want to look at this go goblin plush. It's very cute. I have a goblin. I had to get the cobalt. I. He's so cute. Look at his big lip. Oh wait, that's not a lip. It's his nose. I thought he had a big lip. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he had a really big lip. Oh my god. You know, you cobalt worked on this design moment. for seven years. Why doesn't he have big lips? I don't know, man. I just thought he had one big lip, like like a big chin. You know, like. <laughs> Like a like a bee too. stung him right on the lips. <laughs> Morgan man jaw the cobalt. <laughs> you guys, you guys sold over four thousand of those. Oh, God damn. Very cute. damn. They're really cute. They're super. They are cute. really cute. They're also really soft too. Like they're mm, not like the, yeah. they're, they don't use cheap material. They're actually very well made. I could punch it right now. Hold on. <laughs> no, no violence. Here, here I here I go. Get ready. Here it comes. <laughs> No. That was violence. <laughs> Damn it. Connor, keep going. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Monty, where can they find you? Oh, shit, never mind. Uh, listen. <laughs> listen, today was... Reverse Uno. Today was an emotional experience. I went to a... What was... It's called the Griddle? Yeah, the Griddle. I went to a place called the Griddle today on top of a mountain, and I could see all of L.A., and I ate, there was so many pancakes. I asked, I'm like, they're like, what do you want? I'm like, I would like this pancake, please. And they showed up with like three pancakes bigger than my face. She was very upset that I got the red velvet pancakes. Cause it was one, one pancake. I had three and they were massive.
But again, Bonnie, you, you have... always get three. That's standard. No, you that's don't understand how big got. these pancakes that's are. The man. Short they're stack. huge pancakes. <laughs> they're bigger than like a dinner plate. They're huge. Yeah, that's the short stack. Oh God, there's nothing <laughs> short about it. Bradley's favorite. <laughs> It yeah, she got bacon. Yeah, that was a mistake. Um, I will be returning home, by the way, uh, hopefully soon, barring any unfortunate circumstances. Um, and hopefully we'll be uh, re re redoing, like, continuing my streams. Um, so that is that is exciting. We'll be continuing uh, Metopia. Um, also, I'm hoping I might shift around my schedule. I might start streaming on Monday and have Thursday be my day off. Um, so things might be jumbled around. I'll keep you guys posted, and if you're interested, check out my Discord, where I talk about stuff every now and again. So, yeah. Woo! And they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, Tuesdays is Tabletop Tuesday, where we either play a tabletop game or we play... Uh, some trading card games. We played Elder Sign with myself, Hey Mr. Rabbit, and our buddy Luke. Uh, Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I basically just play whatever I feel like with whoever decides to show up. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, usually play some Guilty Gear, Jackbox, Party Packs, stuff like that. Saturdays, uh, before either the Prince Division or Gateway on Saturdays, I'm playing through... Yakuza, the the entire series. I'm in Yakuza 5 Remastered right now. That's been a lot of fun. Uh, Sundays, I am playing through Wildermyth. Uh, I was helping one Lanny Pator celebrate his birthday last Sunday, so I didn't play at that time, but I'll be continuing this Sunday. Uh, Wildermyth is a lot of fun. And another game that I'm, I'm betting is going to be a lot of fun is Dead House Sonata. Uh, they just... Uh, earlier today, released the last in their long line of sort of lore deep dives going into the game and the setting and how they came about it and all that stuff. Uh, please, if you are at all interested in a game where you play the dead to fight the living, uh, check out the link, check out their YouTube, check out their Twitch, uh, look over their VODs. Uh, yeah, it's sure to be a whole blast and a half. And also check out Medium's Guild, where I just released the Accursed Fighter subclass. Uh, and be sure to uh, tune in to my DMs Guild next month, where I'll be releasing the Fanged King Warlock Pact. Oh. Yeah. Mm. It's a vampire-themed uh, Warlock Pact that has a whole bunch of really cool, spooky... Uh, subclass features. It's very interesting. I like it a whole lot. It's the first one I made, actually. Oh. Yeah. And that should be coming out sometime next month. But uh, with me out of the way, I'd like to thank our sponsor for today's episode, Die Hard Dice, as Wait. always. First of all, chat, get ready for this. Also, there's a lot of Die Hard Dice here. Don't forget, while we appreciate you guys ordering online, don't be afraid to check out some Die Hard Dice at your local shops, if they carry them. Um, they actually have some very unique colors at local shops that you actually can't get online anymore. So don't be afraid to check those out. Uh, we went to a shop, be in Bosco, I won't, I won't say the name of it, I don't know if it's risky to say the name of it. But we went to a shop, uh, and they had literally a wall of Die Hard Dice, and I, I, I cried a single tear in awe <laughs> of all of the different dice that they had. So you bought each one, right? No, I all had to them. go home. Listen, listen. Man. Listen. <laughs> can't believe this. <sighs> anyway, continue, Damn. Connor, with the pitch. <laughs> and uh, you can get... All that and more at their shop or at your local hobby shop. Uh, just remember Die Hard Dice. And if you're shopping online, go to dieharddice.com. Use the code THE UNEXPECTABLES at checkout to save 10% off your entire order. Um, I forget the order. We're doing, we're doing bits and subs first? Uh, yeah, we're doing bits and subs first. All right. Bits and subs first. Don't worry, guys. There's something fun coming. 
some big. My mouse died. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Connor. No. That's my mean, turn. Connor. I That's my die. turn to yell at you like I'm your mother. <laughs> what the f What the fuck did I do? I didn't die. Gaijin, I didn't kill my I, mouse. I give, you, I give you the greatest honor I could bestow, calling Connor in a stern voice when he does something. <laughs> Hellrith, thank you for the 18 months. Gear Cannon, thank you for the 17 months of Prime. Uh, Dragon Alchemist, thank you for the 17 months. Dr. Dank Memes, PhD, thank you for the 10 months. Rax the Builder, thank you for the 14 months of Prime. Gino Kaze, thank you for the 18 months. Zan Wind, thank you for the 16 months. Jinty13, thank you for the two subs gifted to the community. Epam, thank you for the 18 months. K Macmon, thank you for the 16 months of Prime. Nom Nom Goblin, thank you for the 100 bits. Ooh, ooh, come on, come on now. Moy Luna, thank you for the 14 months. Ven Maru Karos Corwin, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Orclads. <gasps> Nico Quas, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Doom Knight 13, thank you for the 100 bits. Robomom 897, thank you for the 10 bits. Hellbent Fry, thank you for the eight month or fourteen months of Prime. Surfbone, thank you for the sub. Ninor Niniel, thank you for the eighteen months. Spevacan, thank you for the two hundred bits. Mister Snacks, thank you for gifting a sub. G Force thirty nine, thank you for the eighteen months. Ryoku Moonscar, thank you for the four months of Prime. Flustered Bun, thank you for the three hundred bits. Extra Val, thank you for the year of subbing. Disco Tech Priest, thank you for the 15 months. Cuban Dragon, thank you for the 17 months of Prime. Dark Star Dara, thank you for the 100 bits. Jerry, 17, 17, 17, thank you for the 200 bits. Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 50 bits. Alawa Bingo, thank you for the 11 months. BTS 011, thank you for the 50 bits. King Kiwi, 2516, thank you for the 100 bits. Jinty 13, thank you for the 100 bits. Spartan 6134, thank you for the nine months of Prime Subage. Drago Soon, thank you for the 500 bits. C. Vanders, thank you for the 100 bits. Pretty Venus, thank you for the 100 bits. Jinty 13, thank you for the one, or for the 10 bits. King Night Owl, thank you for the 12 months. Levi Wear 03, thank you for the seven months. Infinite Kitty, thank you for the 17 months. Levi Wear 03, thank you for the 300 bits. Down with Logic, thank you for the nine months of Prime Subage. The Goblet of Unmaking, thank you for the 18 months. Zelban, thank you for the two months or the nine months of Prime Subage. Alucard True V, thank you for the 17 months of Prime Subage. Kenny Holtz, thank you for the 10 months of Prime Subage. Dr. Caliban, thank you for the 15 months of Subin. Bag of Holding, thank you for the 18 months. The Cayute, thank you for the 1,500 bits. Major Kudo, thank you for the 14 months. DXXXXXXX Kid, 8676, thank you for the five months. Yat282, thank you for the 13 months of Prime. Rikaku the Psycho, thank you for the 17 months. Timothy Strothman, thank you for the 500 bits. Like Tabuya123, thank you for the 100 bits. Dill202, thank you for the 12 months of Prime subage. Nova Flame, thank you for the three months. Uh, Maca Brenoir, thank you for the 18 months. Timothy Strothman, thank you for the sub. C. Vanders, thank you for the 100 bits. T. Tom, 145, thank you for the 100 bits. The Atom Bomb, 035, thank you for the 500 bits. Zen Lita, thank you for the 300 bits. Print Equation, thank you for the 14 months. The Twit Gamer, Thank you for the 14 months of Prime. Inferno Uwu, thank you for the 15 months of Prime. Mr. Crispy, thank you for the 45 bits. Free haircut and lobotomy, thank you for gifting a sub. Uh, Aped123, thank you for the six months. Anonymous, thank you for giving a tier one sub to Vin Smoke Sanji for 12 months. More Thrandor, thank you for the five months. T Tom, thank you for the 1,500 bits. And Great Otaku Bomb, thank you for the 2,000. And Rug Smuggler, thank you for gifting a hundred subs. <laughs> oh, God! Ah. Oh, right at the very end there. Oh, right my end. goodness yeah. gracious hey. sake. <laughs> and not to be out the... Mark, don't. Just don't. 
Mark, Mark Allen. Why do I hear Jr. boss music? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> All right, Connor, do you want to take it away with some fun announcements? Oh boy. So, a lot, a lot, a lot of, lot of you have been asking both on here and on my own personal stream, what is happening for October? Is October coming back? Uh, well, the the short answer is, uh, the short answer is no. There are a number of reasons why. A couple of them are obvious. Uh, one being that GW uh, doesn't really much cotton to fan works nowadays and for the sake and safety of this channel and everyone in it uh i think it's best that we avoid uh decrew and october in its traditional sense and i know some of you are not going to like that answer and i do apologize i wish i i wish i could have run it i had ideas for this month's or for this year's decrew but uh, circumstances being what they are, I think it's best if we don't do Decrew this year. And the long answer is this. Money, roll the clip. Search ye far or search ye near, you'll find no trace of the three. Unless you follow instructions clear, for the weapons abide with me. North, past forest, farm, and furrow, you must go to the feathered mound. Then down away from the sun you'll burrow. Forget life, forget light, forget sound. I care not for my owner's brave, what heroes you seek to hire. Though mighty, I'll make each one my slave or send him to the fire. <laughs> no, no, no. Those guys have had it good for too long. Now it's our turn. <laughs> That's right, chat. Orktober has transformed and become Gobtober. This year, I'll be running through the Tales from the Yawning Portals, White Plume Mountain. I have with me special guests, Lanny Pator, Boobs McBalrog, Mark Allen Jr., Who are my other players? Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, Connor, Connor, <laughs> like, wow. Wow, Connor. Wow. I'm sorry. I, I have adrenaline going through my head right now. <laughs> Scroll the trailer back. It was there. <laughs> who, who are my players? I don't remember. I'm 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 so insulted. <laughs> Hang on. I'll 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 redo that. <laughs> oh my god. As soon as I as soon as I as soon as I remember who's playing Eggs in my or game. flour or sugar do I put in this cake? <laughs> <laughs> Just put in sour cream. It's fine. Yeah. Gaijin Goomba's in there as well. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for that. I'm sorry. I actually, I, I'm having a huge brain fart right now. And also our good friend Therapod. Thero, right. Who could forget about Thero? <laughs> wow. 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 That's, that's the sort of... <laughs> Ver, like verbiage I would have heard from White Plume Costco. Mountain happening and it's going to have those people in it it's going to be an all goblins game 
It's going to be crazy. And Absolutely can't wait. Not to put him on the spot, but we also have a returning show as well. Yeah, Ravenloft is back, but I if you all of you saw Ravenloft, something happened at the end of Ravenloft, didn't didn't it? Isn't that right, Zito? Yeah. 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 And Zito's going to be doing stuff on Tuesdays for October, which is going to be fun for him. You should check that out. Yep, TFS, baby. Something might be yep. happening. Which means there's a spot open. And you might be wondering, well, did I fill that spot? And the answer is yes. And so you'll have to tune in this Saturday to find out who the fifth player is because it's going to knock your socks off. I know Monty's excited. I'm excited. None of y'all are going to know until we go live. It's going to be a good time. Tune in. Yeah, I have no idea who it is. I don't even know who's I playing I can say this game. right now. I will give everybody a hint. <laughs> this person that will be in the game has never been on this channel before. There's my Ooh. hint. You literally just threw the, the, the needle that was in a handful of hay into the hay stack. I know. It's interesting stuff. Can't wait to see who it is. Aw, shout out to the people who was like, oh, it's not Arkolf. Aww. Oh. I love glad, to, glad to know we got some diehard Arkolf fans in the chat. Because Arkolf is a good Arkolf is a good boy. He deserves Arkolf the world. I am an Arkolf fan and I want to Who's Arkolf? everything. God damn it, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> My memories are fading. Alright, well, I think with that, with that big announcement, uh speaking of spooky things <laughs> and mystery. <laughs> And not knowing who is who, <laughs> and secret disguises and memory problems. Wait, who are you people again? <laughs> I think it's time for us to return to the Unexpectables. Uh, question. Yes. What's the Unexpectables? Mm. <laughs> You're all fired. I'm running the show now. What? <laughs> who are you? Oh, we had lunch. Who am I? Where am I? <laughs> what am I? Where am I? When am Where I? Am I? Why am I? Mm. That's existential. Please let me know if the music is too loud. When last we left our heroes, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Remy the Kenku Fighter, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Task the Cobalt Ranger, and a new found friend in Esme, the Celestial Warlock. The party is now in the thick of the Feywild, stumbling, lost, and confused. After finding their way to the second layer, they were accosted by the strange and almost mutated forms of pantomimes, fey creatures with very impressive and terrifying power. After dispatching three of the pantomimes, the party is now seeking shelter to rest as they tend to their wounds in the form of several touch-based spells, as well as a few well-placed fingers of death. Task, climbing a tree, managed to find a roof in the distance. Seeing no other way fit forward, the party now collects themselves, their new friend in tow, and makes way to whatever shelter they can find. So, what is the order for movement right now? Are you guys moving stealthily? Oh, yes. Quickly yeah. or at a moderate pace? Stealth, please. Oh, stealth. Uh, I'd like uh, uh, uh. everybody to make a group stealth check, please. Hey, uh, oh, wait, never mind. I was about to say, if magic runs backwards here, I was about you, to... You, you try. Well, we, we've... We used a bunch of spells during... Or I used a bunch of spells during that fight, and it didn't seem like anything was gonna... Anything went wrong. Okay, I'm casting Pass Without a Trace. Okay. So I had a plus 10 to this. Everyone gets a plus 10 to their stealth check. All right, as you cast the spell, nothing seems to happen. Ah! 20... 
Ooh, 29 from Greckles. Okay. Here I go. I mean, it's one of the two things I do very well. well. <laughs> Thank you. 18. Aren't you glad I'm here? <laughs> can I get Panic and can I get Remy, please? 22. 22. Okay. As you guys continue forward, rushing through the trees, there's a moment, task, with your highest stealth roll. As you guys are rushing, you begin to see leaves on the ground, burnt black leaves. And as you guys continue to run, you notice something kind of behind you and you immediately stop your companions and bring yourselves up against the base of these massive blackened trees. And for the moment, you're calm, you stay completely still. And you hear something howl over the landscape. Just keep running. They can't catch us if we keep running. Running. Echoing through the trees. Further still, you hear another voice respond with, Ah, my bag! I dropped my bag! Voices stolen, echoing through the dark. As you stand still, you notice them, pantomimes, three of them, dashing from tree to tree, and without noticing you, dashing past, looking for more talkative prey. Need another group stealth check, please. <gasps> I have had my death silence on us. Does that plus 10 still apply? Yeah. Yep. Yes. 34. As long as, as long as your character is within 30 <gasps> feet of me. Ooh, good. Oh. Ooh. Good. Soft, Natural one. soft 20. 29. <laughs> Remember, it's a group check. It's a 22. 19. As you guys are running, Task, as you're running, you hit like a piece of thorny branch that hits your foot and you kind of ah, let out a gasp. The rest of you all notice is one of the pantomime's head just snaps towards where you are. Its teeth kind of grinding together, almost savoring the words it hears. And it looks side to side in the canopy of the trees until it goes, ah, my bag, I dropped my bag and leaps to the next tree. Oh. As a group, you succeeded. Cool. In a distance now, you can see a glow of the rooftop. I need one more stealth check. Okay, 28. 24. 29. 28. 32. Beautiful. You guys front tumble. You guys Dark Souls roll tree to tree. <laughs> Stopping at moments to brace your back up against a tree as the pantomimes sniff out and seem to be looking. And eventually, you manage to make it to the edge. I need everyone to make perception checks for me. Hooray. 15. 17. Nine. This makes sense for you, Esme. Nine. I just wanted to- The 19. Oh. Makes sense for you too, Remy, as you are helping your companions and also you've never seen this structure before. Wait, Can but it's a 19. Oh, right, with advantage. Never mind. You Thank you. Yeah. You still don't recognize it. Fucking- <laughs> Greckles and Task, as the rest of your companions are slipping behind you, as they are not the most stealthiest by, by base talent, as you proceed forward, you see a familiar structure, a surprising respite in this desolate land. And at first you don't recognize it, and then your memory churns up, and you recall camping one night, along with your companion Digsby, around this small caravan that held a rather Fuck. conversational fortune teller once before. This motherfucker is fey. Are you kidding me? Mm, it makes sense. I had a, it oh makes, my I god, had a that feeling. makes so much sense. I have missed story. No fucking way. Like, Tash just like looks over at Greckles and just like grimaces. I mean, Greckles shrugs. I mean, it makes sense, all things considered. Is, is I, I, fish for the, I fish for the card, by the way, Monty. Okay. You fish for the card. 
You do find it. It's in your pocket. It's a little crumpled from, you know, swimming and gross water. Wear and tear. <laughs> set a fire and, you know. Just going to get a little bird stand. <laughs> yes, Gaijin. How can I help you? Sorry. Um, so this, so, so it's an actual house or is it? It is on wheels. It is a caravan. Uh, it is on okay. wheels. It is like a gotcha. box. Um, it's sizable. Very nice. You remember it, you know. You remember it not having anything that pulls it. That is definitely mm. something distinctive you remember. Right. And the dawn in which you had left, it lasts. It simply vanished. Gotcha. But it stands before you. You do see a glow inside. Uh, well, I'm going to stealth my way over. Cause Likewise. We're, we're unfortunately in a situation where maybe these things don't hear us. But what the fuck if they can see us in, like, light? All right. You guys continue moving forward. And for a second, your heart jolts as you hear very close by a voice call out, Oh, God! Oh, God! It's eating me! Echoing in the trees. I need everyone to make their last stealth check as they approach the door. Or are you sending one person out to scope out the door? Uh, we had talked about how Task and I were going to sneak up. Okay, Task and Greckles, go ahead and roll stealth checks. Plus 10, friend. Oh, yeah, buddy! 34, 34. 20, 29. 29 and 34. You guys managed to just disappear, making your way through the shadows up to the front door of this caravan. You see the familiar advertisements pasted on the front of no refunds permanently affixed to the side. Above it, you see the fortune teller written out. And the window, which is usually open where he provides his fortunes, is seems to be slotted shut. Are there any pantomimes in the direct, like, visual vicinity? Go ahead and roll a perception check for me, Greckles. Because that might determine what we do. I have a plan, but I want to see this roll. 18? 18. 18. You tied. Good job. Ooh. Greckles, as you scan their horizon, you're like, we're good. And you see a head. It's currently, the back of the head is towards you, but you can see it kind of like a monkey almost, kind of looking side to side, but seems to be distracted by the echoing calls of its companions. Money. How far out, How far out is it? Probably at a distance, at least 60 to 80 feet. Okay. Yeah. Can I, okay. I don't know how stupid this is going to be, but... Can I fire an arrow so this whenever the arrow hits it off of the distance, they chase after it? Make a weapon attack, and the the however high the weapon attack roll is, the effectiveness will be. We'll treat it like a deception check, but we'll use the arrow shot as your oh, deception. Okay. If you're okay with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, 14. As you kind of fire off the arrow... <laughs> It hits a tree and makes not a sound. And you hear a voice enter your mind going, we, 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 we're just too good, honestly. Wait. Ask Grimaces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. I, I, I couldn't make a noise with that shit. Hang on. Oh, balls, it's only 30 feet. Um... Shoot. Okay. Sorry, I can't help you there. I was like, wait, do I have major illusion? Nope, sure don't. <laughs> Let me All right. hold on. Let me look through my fucking like my kleptomaniac bag of bullshit that I've carried with me. Maybe I have something that can work here. Uh spyglass, lantern, bedroll, bottle of holy water, mess kit, tender. I like tender to imagine bomb. you're going through this as Just you're in front dump of Dump our play. stuff out. No, no, no. I <laughs> fuck that shit. That's dumb. <laughs> That's uh, big dumb. Tender <laughs> <laughs> uh, box, mess roll. Task, I can, I could, I could just do a really light knock. That thing's far enough away. I, I kind of had a, also a plan though. If you, if you could do the light knock, I'm gonna have Task slip the grandma card underneath the door. Okay. Task, you slip the grandma card beneath the door, and Greckles, you do a knock. Very, very slight as to not alert the pantomimes that are 60 to 80 feet out. 
Then roll a sleight of hand. Oh, I'm good at those. Don't say that out loud. 27. I'm good Ooh. at those. 27. <laughs> yeah. I can hear Sarah clenching because that never goes well in Prince Division. Look, I mm, look, Monty. Yes. Mm. I mean, I can't. I can't roll below a 15 with this thing unless I nat one, and I have a plus nine to it. So I think I'm yeah, good. Yeah, but that five percent on that nat one is kind of common in this fucking program. Greckles, you gently rasp on the door, and mm -hmm. there's no response. And because they rolled a natural one, you and Tass get the sense that the pantomimes are going to be coming nearby, and you guys hide beneath the wheels, like underneath the undercarriage of this carriage, as the pantomimes jump on top of the roof and then kind of look around. Uh. And then <laughs> jump to the next tree. I wonder if I wonder if he's not here. Uh, oh, I want to check underneath the carriage and see if there's like anything that I, I I this is dumb, big dumb, but is there like a trap door that leads underneath the, the yeah, carriage? Yeah, yeah, like a latch roll, or something. Roll an investigation check. Oh, um, let me get in on that. Yo, could you assist me? What's your plus? Uh, my investigation runs at flat zero, so... Mine is, se mine is seven, and it can't roll lower than 15. All right, so I will give you advantage. Excellent. Uh, tw uh, excuse me, 19. 19. As you palm around, you do find a seam in the undercarriage of the door, and as you gently pull down on it, there's a lock on it, but it is openable, whatever it is. We need to get the rest of them in here. We need Panic to determine if there's any magical traps or anything. Uh, then I will... I, I'm i the one with the magic still on me. I'll do it. I'm going to sneak over that back so, to everyone else. So, Monty, really quick. If there is a pan... If there's a pantomime... Like, I'm going to be looking out for it. If there's a pantomime that tries to catch wind of task, um, I am going to minor illusion a scream... 30 feet in the opposite direction of where he's trying to go. Okay, sounds good. All right, task. Stealth check for me. Well, Contingency ten. plans. <gasps> Contingency I, plans! <laughs> I swear to fucking God, what the fuck, that one? Task, as you run out, you look up and you see a pantomime <gasps> turn down and smile at you, and then Greckles, you point in a corner and make a scream. Mm -hmm. Roll a deception check for me. Natural 20! Oh, natural 20. As it seems task, it hears the scream. The rest of you all who are hiding behind the trees hear a sudden shriek of a woman. And you guys see Tass kind of middle. I'm assuming Tass, you're motioning for them to come. Yeah. In a sequence of events, all of you guys rush forward and dive underneath the carriage as the three pantomimes bound towards the sound of the, of the scream. Where you cast it, you watch as the pantomimes begin to scratch and peel. I need everyone to roll initiative, as this is now an escape sequence. Oh, oh fuck. God. What the fuck, roll 20? Sorry, guys, I tried. 17. Five. Hey, it happens. Ten. This is See, great. this is why we're using Astra. Shut up, shush. <laughs> 17. Four. Okay. Also, I'm rolling really badly as well today again. Let's see. Who wants to go first between panic and task? I'll give you first. Okay. All right, panic. <clears throat> task. What a dex of five? Holy shit. Esme. Uh, Jack of all trades. Right, right, right. Oh no, Greckles and then Esme. That's the lowest roll I've seen, initiative roll I've seen from Greckles. In a yeah, while. it happens. And then we have good old Remus Corbo. Actually. All right. So, to start the turn order up. Oh, actually, I need to roll for the pantomimes really fast. Give me a hot second here. Their dex mod. Remember, kids, it doesn't matter how high level you are, there is something that can just chew you up and spit you out. Isn't 
particularly. Only the one notices you. The rest of them Monkey. are far away, so you're at least good in that way. They have a plus five. And they rolled a natural one. All right, that's how today's gonna go. <sighs> All right, Panic, you are up first, and these things are distracted by the sudden shriek in the far distance, and you see Tass kind of gesturing for you to follow him. And you see currently I... hiding beneath the carriage is Greckles, who seems to be like kind of padding around for something underneath the undercarriage of the carriage. Just sort of look side to side and then slowly just <laughs> like like slow quick, just <laughs> like 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 the like the slow Flintstones. <laughs> You know, like, I just imagine the two frames of animation with your arms sticking out where it's, like, one side and then leans to the other, and you're just like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, God, my brain's not fucking working tonight. I it's all right, it, dude. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna try and, and make my way over to Task and Greckles. I'm all gonna right, try and you... get within within that radius of of silence. You are... Right. The, if you get close to me, you are basically in that field of view. You Kirby down B slide underneath the carriage and join Greckles underneath. You have your uh, action and your bonus action if you wish to use them. Um. No, I'm not going to use anything. Okay. I'm, Task. I'm, I'll, I'll take the dodge action is what I'll do. All right, there you go. Take the dodge hmm. action. Task, it is now your turn. Am I underneath this thing, or am I still standing outside? You probably got about 10 feet out when you were noticed. Okay, I'm... This is big... Again, I'm, I'm big dumb and a lot of shit here because I'm absolutely afraid. I'm casting silence centered on me. Okay. Oh, you were so lucky. <laughs> As you cast it... You hear like the sort of pulsing of your ears and the rustling of the leaves, and then you hear nothing as silence goes off without any issues. There is a 20 foot radius centered on me. Up to 10 minutes, as long as I can concentrate it, we are, it is completely silent. I get back, I, I, I move towards the wall of the carriage, and I motion for everyone to get the fuck under. Okay. Greckles, it is now your turn. Um, free action really quick. Just tell Penny. We think there's a hatch. Check for magic traps. Um, and I'm just going to keep searching for some way uh, to possibly get into this thing from beneath it. Yeah, there is the, it is like a hatch. It seems to open up, but it is locked. There is a flat, some like flat, almost door lock on the bottom side, but you can see the square. It's like a, probably about a, I want to say a three feet by three feet square beneath. With the with the little keyhole on can, it. Can can I? Cat? This is this is gonna be a little weird. Can I hold my action till after Panic gives the okay? Oh no, he just went. It wouldn't matter. Um. Uh, mm. You know what? Screw it. I I I know it's a bit of a risk, but I'm trying these tools. It. All right. Go ahead and roll these tools. Well, remember, you're under silence. It's yeah, you can't tell me anything. Oh wait, D yeah. Oh, you're ten feet out. Okay, that's fine. Um, in in that in in that case, can can I like fiddle with this lock and and point at panic, do wiggle fingers, and then point at the lock while I'm trying to unlock it? <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Sorry, Monty. Nineteen. No, no, you're all good. I forgot about the silence as well, even though it just got casted. Everyone better fucking learn how to pantomime real quick. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fine if, if you weren't going to do it, I was going to cast it, so no worries. Freckles, as you take out your thieves tool, it's actually a surprisingly not that bad of a lock. You open it, and at the moment it unlocks, the hatch just throws open, and you kind of brace yourself for, like, poison or danger, Fireball. and a ladder, a ladder from top bottom just shoot, slaps into the mud beneath this carriage. <sighs> cool. Very happy I cast it silence. Cool. Um, I'm going to climb up it. <laughs> okay. As you climb up it, it's like 30 feet tall. It's a, it's like a sort of like a, um, actually, no, not 30 feet. It's about 10 feet of ladder that goes up. All right. Well, um, 
Can I can I bonus action perception to see if there's anything threatening in here? I'll allow it. Okay, and then I'll be done. Fifteen. Fifteen? You don't mm -hmm. hear anything. It smells mm -hmm. really nice, though. Okay, that'll be turn. I can't. I really can't do anything else. All right, Esme, it is now your turn. You see the kobold currently gesturing for you to follow them, and like you hear, you should hear noises where they are, but. You don't hear anything, and you can see the the Kenku Row currently unlocking something, and a ladder just shooting out beneath this carriage. I mean, I, I'm going. Woo. All right. Woo, 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 as you woo, woo. as you run, go ahead for me and roll a perception check. Uh, uh, Twelve. Twelve. Okay. You turn to the left, and you see the pantomimes like digging into the ground, looking for the source of the voice, and you see them kind of stop. And one of them slowly turns and catches your eyes as you just finish running across and you slide beneath the carriage as well. Oh, the other two yeah. seem to be completely distracted. Uh, can, can Remy see me? Remy sees you run across and dive underneath the carriage. Can I turn back and gesture to the one that's looking so he knows? Yeah, you kind of point and like do like a little head nod towards the one that's at a far distance for sure. Easy enough to convey. So is that all my movement? Can I get in the ladder or am I? Uh, you move 30 feet to get underneath the carriage, unfortunately. You can bonus action dash to climb up the ladder, though, if you want to use your action to do that. Sure, I'm going up. All right, you push past Greckles and you just scramble up the stairs. Oh, I need to be rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> As you climb up, you enter an impossibly large space. It is a probably a 20 by 10 room filled with like the, the ground is like several different carpets that are all mismatched of varying different locations. There are hanging baubles of all kinds hanging from the ceiling and shelves of things, but I will not describe any more because you just burst in and with your remaining 10 feet, enter the space. I really, well, I just feel bad about pushing Greckles now. <laughs> I mean, desperate when desperation sets in. I know, all right, but... Remy, it is now your turn. I'd like to double move and push Greckles on his ass. All right. <laughs> <laughs> everyone. Freckles, Freckles, everyone. Freckles, as you're pushed back by Esme, it's a gentle push. Remy runs by and pushes very firmly past you and climbs up the stairs as, or climbs up the ladder as well. Serves his shield like a like a fucking snowboard knocks into you on the way up. <laughs> did you want will... a, uh, a shield? Did you want a shield bash against Greckles for that? <laughs> you know, Bosco, you're just digging a hole that you know I, I I didn't give you a shovel, so I'm a little confused. So you know, you're right? Digsby's fine. not here. I saved all y'all's asses, all right? But um, I have no recollection of those events. Of course Tass you don't. Tass never made it inside. <sighs> Keep going. Remy, you enter a similar space. You see the mishmash and carpet. You see the walls that are impossibly large. You see bookshelves filled with all manner of books. There's maps tacked on the tables and various different spots. It is a, an eclectic collection <laughs> of bits and baubles hanging kinetic sculptures and old weapons that look in disarray and more decorative than useful. It is the pantomime's turn. Yeah. The pantomime cannot get within range to make a touch attack, which is the good news. Let's see what it's going to do. Me. It currently sees panic and task. Ooh, that's diabolical. Make a wisdom saving throw task. Do I see it casting the spell? Yeah, you see it currently waving its hand and pointing a spell towards task. Counter spell. Okay. Uh, it With is a the level spell two. ring. Yeah, it is a level two spell, so it automatically fails as the hold person fails to go off. It fucked monkey. And it does not have a cantrip that I believe can hit you in range. Actually, it does. Sorry, I'm a huge liar. Also, I'm sorry I'm leaning away from the mic because I keep dropping my books. It has. It's going to use its three finger frenzy on you. It's gonna what? Use its yeah, that's what. That's how it can cast a cantrip and a spell every turn. <laughs> three finger frenzy. I'm, the yeah. fuck. 
<laughs> it's called Three Finger Frenzy because it's got three fingers. It's got the two on its hands, it's got oh. one on the tail. Uh, range spell attack. All right. So this is going to be a <clears throat> three finger uh, death punch. 15 to hit you, Task. That will miss. Okay. You watch as a spectral hand shoots out from the finger on the tail of this pantomime, and you manage to just kind of backhand it away as it now enters the space. And you see it now. How? What's the range of... What's the sphere feet. of 20 feet? I'd say he stops about the edge, and as it tries to call out its repeated message, nothing comes out. And you watch as it grabs its throat and almost seems to be in agony. You scumbag! Let's go! <laughs> roll, roll an insight check task on that. This is revenge! <laughs> Oh, come the fuck on, a 12. Okay, one second. It appears to be suffocating. Oh! oh. Mm -mm. You, don't... you know, if I was a vindictive person, I would spend an action to grapple this motherfucker. Oh, God. <laughs> if that, if that Omnimoth thing worked, Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well... The other two pantomimes at this point stop digging through the ground and turn and now catch the rest of you. That ends their turn. Panic, it is now your turn. There is a ladder near you. All right, I'm going to run up the ladder, uh, and as I pass Greckles, I'm just going to give him a little hug, huh. and and then I'll, I'll uh, walk up to the rest of the gang. But I will... I will keep looking down the stairs to see if anything's going to try and follow us up. Specifically looking... Oh, man. How would I even do this? Uh, you know it what? No. A, I'm, I'm, I'm going to... It is a ladder. It's almost like a chimney shaft. It just goes directly up. Also, yeah, Panic, just... this is an impossible space right now that you are in. I'm just going to go all the way up because I don't think I want to risk getting hit by one of these things abilities. So I'm I'm just I'm just going all the way up as far as I can. OK, you head up all the way with your movement and you catch up with Remy and Esme. You still have your action and your bonus action as you enter into this large living quarter. Am I still in silence? No, when you guys enter, there is no silence anymore. I just made a 20-foot barrier, basically, so these things can't follow us unless they go into the silence. Um. Oh, God, Task wouldn't even be able to hear me. Does he need to be? Yes, they do. <laughs> Shit! Um... It, f fuck it, I, I've got it. Who looks hurt? Uh, uh, between Esme and Remy, I believe Remy looks more injured. Okay. Uh, bonus action. Level two healing word out of the spell ring. Okay. On Remy. And that is the last. That is the last spell that is stored in there. And I'm gonna use the dodge action. Okay. Sounds good. So level two healing word on Remy. You heal for 12. Nice. So Pretty you go good. for 12, Remy. Cool. Alrighty, Task, it is now your turn. You ever see a snake that's been wounded just writhing and like, you know, the tail just whips around and kind of curls and ties in on itself? Yeah. That is currently what this thing is doing on the ground. It's like reaching up with its hands on its face. And you even watch as some of the fingers go into like the deep recesses of the socket and just kind of vanish. And its entire body sucks inwards, the legs tuck in, and the tail is just, like, twisting and tying itself as this thing it seems to be in great distress. I need to double-check something really quick. Uh, for the duration, no sound can be created or passed within a 20-foot radius of the sphere. You can choose any... You can point and choose within range. <laughs> any creature or object entirely inside the sphere is immune to thunder damage, and the creature is deafened while entirely inside. Casting a spell that involves verbal components is impossible. I push the sphere in his face. Okay, I believe that means you have to recast it if you need to move it, because you can't. Okay, well, here's the. Here, okay, I'm, then if that's the case, let me ask this real quick. 
Um, since I did a 20 foot sphere near the actual, like centered on me when I was right up against the wall, does that mean that the silence is in the sphere underneath the, the uh, carriage? It doesn't seem to permeate into the carriage for some reason. Oh, no, I don't want it in. I want it underneath the spot where it's oh, still outside. Oh, underneath? Yes, I assume that was the intention. So it is currently in Well, it wasn't underneath. at first, but now it absolutely is a very good side effect. Get me in there. All right, you scramble towards Greckles. What do you do to Greckles? <laughs> I, 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 fuck <laughs> I, I pick him up. Get the fuck off your- get the fuck off your ass and help me close this thing! You just hear, you just see Tass' mouth like flap open like a Muppet, and then he climbs up the ladder. Freckles. <laughs> uh, when I get inside, I want to fucking close, the, I want to close the hatch. All right, you hold up in the hatch for Greckles as you end your turn there. Greckles, it is now your turn. Greckles, very pissed off at all of you except Panic, uh, yeah. <laughs> will use his action to close the hatch and go up the rest of the way. All right, you pull up the ladder as you kind of hang upside down and you hold up the latch. You even see the lock mechanism and you relock it into place. Mm -hmm. And as you do so, this sequence has ended. We no longer need turn order. <sighs> We're not out of the thick of it yet. Okay, so really, what was all that about? I think I just found a weakness. And? It was silence. My spell, when I used the spell, it was convulsing on the floor. It was dying. Total sound kills these things. Or total absence of sound. Total absence, yeah, I'm sorry. Total absence of sound kills these things. That's good Strange. to know, because I have that too. Wait a minute. We only have ten minutes. Wait I, and a minute. And my spell only lasts for ten minutes, so we have about ten minutes to figure out a plan against that. Wait. If... Maybe it's... If they can't hear anything, if they can't hear anything, they can't breathe. Maybe that's it. What if I deafen them? Hmm. Money, I'm going to look around the room. Yeah, I was going to say, Esme's just going to be like, going to start investigating because they're busy. It is a very lovely, yet it, it's almost like a mismanaged disaster, but organized chaos. Um, you see various different vials of unknown liquids. There's some butterflies in like a glass case kind of fluttering around. Um, various different scrolls and books and uh, knickknacks. There's like like dolls and little toys and a lot of broken things. Um, quite a few maps. You actually see a crude map of Alabast uh, tacked amongst them. Like one of the walls is just all these different maps. Um, if you have a particular thing you're interested in, you may investigate it. Oh, what was all that again? <laughs> you see maps. vials, books, maps, scrolls, various different knickknacks. Uh, the ground is basically like a, like it's flat, but it's like a bunch of different styles of carpets kind of blended together. Like they've been sewn together and then put on the ground. There's also like three chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. One is one that's made completely out of like deer antler and it looks really gaudy. One is like this beautiful crystal chandelier, and the other one is like a kind of brass traditional tavern chandelier. Um, I'm just gonna be looking for the fortune teller, honestly. Okay. And not not like secretive or anything like that. I'm trying to be as non-hostile looking as possible. As you look around, this is an enclosed space. It is a box, and you don't see anybody else in the space except for you and your companions. Well, I don't see the fortune teller here. As long as we don't move anything around, I think it's going to be fine. You guys hear a sound of feet on top of the roof <laughs> for a moment. You get the sense that it's the pantomimes on the roof currently. Mm. Um, would my spell not be still in effect? Because it's a concentration it is, spell. But it's near the ground, and this space is kind of strange. Mm. Eventually, you hear a, like a leaping noise. And then after a while, silence. And you take a deep breath. I suggest we all just take five and rest after all that. I'm feeling pretty tapped. I wouldn't mind.
Hey, Monty? Mm-hmm? Is the space in this area, like, different from outside? It seems like, to be. Like, does it feel different? It feels definitely safer, comparatively. It's not that hard to do. Is it? It does feel off, but less hostile is the best way. It seems to stem from the same sort of strangeness of this place, like the Feywild, but has an air of less hostility. Is it possible to rest in here? As you guys kind of try and calm down and settle down, your mind races, your heart just keeps going, and you are unable to rest. Greckles is going to approach Remy. Okay, so are we going to talk about any of that? I don't follow. I understand we were all a little panicked back there, but was that really necessary? Look, I'm still getting used to the armor. I was just trying to get up the ladder. Hmm. Just kind of side glances a little bit. Uh, he's going to go check out the maps, see what other maps there may be and if they're labeled, because that's that could be really important information. Roll a history check. Uh, oh, Monty, oh. actually, before he does, hmm. Esme goes over to him and she sort of just very sheepishly goes, sorry. No, it's... That it's... will give him guidance. Oh, dang! Okay. Guidance. All right. Do you do you do that roll or do I do that roll? Ah, uh, you do the roll. The okay. target can roll. Yeah. Uh, history. Oh, Jesus, I don't know if it's gonna save yeah. me or not. Okay. Twelve. You recognize a crude map of Alabas because it is unfinished. Mm -hmm. There is a map of uh, Tristella Court. There is a map of Tricadia. There is a map of the Alton region. And there is a map of Nomeria. Notably, Ooh. as you look at them, they seem to be pinned in specific locations. Mm -hmm. But you don't know why. I could guess on. I could guess above game. Uh, I don't know. Could knowing knowing that he could potentially teleport around, would that be something to logically conclude? Up to Theoretically, you. okay. Well. I, I, I will take it as those pin places as possible waypoints for him to travel magically, then. Uh, you said Tristella Court, Alton, Nomeria, Alavast, um... Uh, and Tricadia. Tricadia, okay. Your favorite place. Uh, uh. Interesting. He's just really been around. But, but, there, but there's no, um, there's no maps of, like, other planes that are noticeable, is there? No, they're all mm. material plane maps. Okay. There are some sketches of locations, but nothing to note that's worthy of attention. Okay. When Grimmels um, points that out, yeah. could, could I check his map and sort of like cross-reference it in my mind to see if it's any more filled out or less than ours? Uh, for Alavast? Yeah, the Alavast map. Seems pretty similar. Um, Actually... Most of it seems to do with the northwest, or sorry, the southwest area of Alabast. Um, there is one note, I will say. Roll an investigation check. Okay. Would you like guidance, too? Uh, I already rolled it. Do they? That's a 12. <laughs> I'll allow it. You can roll the guidance, too. Oh, boy. Sarah said it before. Oh, the boy. Uh, 15. Panic, you kind of, like, as you stand there with Greckles, you kind of, like, peel up one part of one of the maps that's covering Alavas, and you notice currently pointed, like, with an arrow to the capital city uh, is a little note that says, an idiot lives here. To, to the capital city of Alavas? Yeah, there's a little arrow point that just is, like, pointing towards the capital city and says, an idiot lives here. It's like a little is there like a, Is there like a drawing or anything? No, nope, it's <laughs> just an arrow and an idiot lives here. Oh, boy. And it just sort of gives like a, 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 a small smile and a nod. 
<sighs> Hope he's doing okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know how this world works, Monty. So Greckles is trying to going to try and do a thing. He's going to take out one of his pieces of paper. Okay. Um, right. Sorry to barge in. Didn't mean for anything to happen. Need a rest here. And I'll, you know, I'll just, I'll leave 20 gold. Okay. With it. Because I don't know. It may disappear. I, uh, mm. Okay. Why not? You, you do so. You kind of place it. And as you place it and then put the coins and look down and look up, you said the note that you wrote out says, decided to rob the place. This is your cut. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I didn't do that magically by any stretch of the imagination. Did the words just transform into that? Yeah, they did. Okay, I'm going to flip the... I'm going to scratch that out really, really hard so it's illegible. Flip it over and said... And, and, and write out... Caused a horrible ruckus. Rob the place. Here's your cut. Okay. Uh, as you place it, then look away and then look back. It says... You are very easy to rob. Lovely place, though. <laughs> I am going to just tear up that piece of paper and just throw it in a corner and just give up trying to be nice. All right. As you take I the piece of paper. I solemnly swear I am up to no good. As you tear up the piece of paper and throw it up in the air, it all turns into to flowers that gently drift down and land around everybody. I hold, I hold my chest. I hold my chest close, hoping nothing happens. This is <laughs> right. Cause of the yeah. That's a call out for you, longtime fans. Oh, might be a I'm, fun surprise. <laughs> I am continuously fucking watching. Ta -da. I'm just going to take my money back. This place doesn't seem very appreciative. I think. Hmm. We're you guys are having have this... to learn some new rules here. Have you, as you guys are hearing, you guys are speaking, you hear another <laughs> set of footsteps on top of the roof and then like a scraping noise, like a cat trying to scratch into like a cardboard box and then. <laughs> well, I'm going to eat something because I'm sure we're hungry. Um, I'm going to grab the. Oh, no, Monty. OK, mm -hmm. I'm going to grab the alchemy jug. I'm going to shake it up and I'm going to try and provide water for everyone. Try being the operative word. As you shake up and lift open, it makes lemonade. Oh, that's nice. I hope oh, it's not poisoned. Lovely. <laughs> it's blah. Or As it's you acidic. Drink it, it's a little tart, but it's okay. It could okay, use a little bit more sweetener, but you know what? It's for a second you mm. thought it was pee, but it wasn't. It was lemonade. So you're good. <laughs> what I'm gonna the look fuck? at. I'm gonna look at my rations and see what they've transformed into. Um, as you pull up your rations, the jerky has been cut into fun animal shapes. Cool. Dino, like, freaking dino animal chicken crackers. nuggets. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna provide drink for everyone. It's the, it's the least we can do, because we can't rest. I uh, want to look for any cards around here. Okay. Go ahead and roll an investigation check. Eight. Okay. Eight. Uh, you, you scour around. Um, <laughs> as you pass by one of the shelves, you see as one of the butterflies like kind of grips onto the side of the glass and goes, "Help me!" <laughs> you get a little distracted and are unable to take your mind <laughs> off of it. Panic! What are you looking for? Huh? Oh, I forget. Okay. <laughs> I'm, fuck it uh, so, our heroes ladies and gentlemen <laughs> Monty you this, put us in a precarious situation this space we're in mm -hmm. do I do we not see like a door or any other like like location that leads into another room you do see an area where it seems like you can pull the window down which you probably assess is where the fortune teller does his fortune telling when he goes to locations um door wise you actually don't see a way out of the like you don't see like an inner like hatched like door beyond how you entered there seems to be just that single door is how you entered 
Uh, Very well. I guess I'll fucking I, I I will attempt to at least do something other than manically just like stare at the fucking hatch and like ready action silence again. I'm gonna investigate. Okay. What are you investigating? I'm literally just looking around to see if there's anything like out of the ordinary, like a call sign or something that leads to another location. Like a like a another like latch or another something or other. Okay. As you dig around, you find a dresser, and you kind of, in your search, kind of pull open some of the drawers, and you see just the biggest, most egregious-looking pantaloons of, like, silk and blue that you've ever (laughs) seen. Oh, my God. You dig through, you find a jester's hat, and as you open up the top dresser where you expect to see, you know, coats and shirts and jackets, as you open it up, you see a series of masks staring back at you. They're not porcelain, are they? All of them are porcelain. I fucking knew it. The moment we fucking met that guy, I had a feeling. Uh, fuck. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna take, like, what? what's the closest one to me? Uh, you see one that looks like to be some sort of, like, sort of, Doctor Plague Doctor S Mass, but it's more of like a divine looking kind of swan or crane like bird. I will touch I I will like at least inspect the crane. Okay. You take it, you pull it off, and you look behind. It is looks unworn. Um there's some straps in the bag and you kinda look it over, and as you do, you do hear a voice kind of call out from inside the cabinet going Well, are you as creeped out as I am? And you watch as one of the masks morphs into the similar sort of dotted eye mask of the fortune teller who steps out almost like an apparition from the back of the cabinet and steps into the main space. The rest of you all who are wrestling, Uh. suddenly just watch as the fortune teller just walks out of this cabinet and steps onto the ground. Jeez! I, I put the I fucking just like put the mask back calmly. Uh, Esme like jumps to her feet and like grabs grabs the handle of her sickle though she doesn't pull it out because she doesn't know. Remy this guy. is gonna pull out his long sword. Go and, task like, task immediately whoop. bounces in front of every like in front of the fortune teller to everyone else. No 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 no, and then he points up to the ceiling and makes scratching fi- uh, gestures with his hands. I would agree with the kobold. The pests around here are rather notorious. Do you not know what... I guess you haven't learned what we've learned? I, I, I like, hold my hand down. I, like, kind of, like, I, like make the, 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 the motion of casting. Silence kills. Oh, they don't like their voices being stolen. Why do you think they like to steal so many? Mm. Now that begs the question, then. Why did you set up camp here? Because it's safe. This is safe? Gwyn. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's safe from everything else. We do apologize for barging in, by the way. It's just, well... Oh, please. I love surprise visitors. And, madam, if you don't mind me saying, prime real estate in this realm is at a premium. So... You get what you can manage. You can keep it. She lets go of her sickle. <laughs> She's fun. I didn't expect her to show up. Neither with that one either. And he kind of points towards Remy as well. Let's just say we've made some friends along the way. And your fate has seemed to deviate, has it not? And you watch as he flicks the card task and the grandmother card kind of gently floats back into your hand. Some have and some haven't. Shall we go over what's happened and what has not? If you find it relevant. Oh, I always do. Let's see where the path has deviated and where the path has concluded. I think that would be a fun game and a welcome, welcome to my abode. You watch (sighs) as he claps his hands twice and a bunch of chairs apparate and are pushed towards a circle. Dope. Happily take one. De- defeated, Tass just like sits in it and like leans his head back like, oh, fuck. I'll, I'll, I'll turn over and look at uh, Remy and Esme and I'll be like, 
probably best that we play along for right now. We're Esme, safe. Esme sits and she asks, you said you weren't expecting me. How do you know me? Well, I know people when I meet them and I've met you, so I know you. It's that simple, really. And I'm a little bit, um, what's the term the fey lords love to use? Omnipotent? Omnipresent? I observe eternally. You know, that sort of high and mighty rapport. Not mighty enough to use the G word. <clears throat> Nothing here uses the G word. G whiz? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't do that again. <laughs> he, la <laughs> he laughs. G willikers, more like. <laughs> yet, right. there's a, yet there's a certain pool here that might restore some godlike being. Now, that sounds like a fool's errand if I've ever heard one. Why would you want to go doing that? We have Let's reasons. Is well, a good point. <laughs> We'd be even bigger talk, fools if we didn't stick it out. Let us talk less reasons and drive and more chants and maybes. And remember, though I provided these fortunes air a long time ago, the outcome of which is not mine to be dictated, and so that said, no refunds. And no being a spoil sport. And he points towards you, Remy. Remy is not going to make any kind of reaction. He's just standing at attention behind the chair that was pulled out of thin air. Careful, this toy person is You watch as he turns towards you, Remy, and goes, careful, toy soldier. You may find yourself twisted and turned until you walk right off the edge. No response. Panic this guy's still wearing that weird fish mask, right? Yeah, the really weird fish mask. Cool. And he, and... When 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 Task went rooting through that, did all of the masks shift into the weird fish mask? No, the rest of them remained the same. Only the one shifted into the weird face mask. And that one and that one is porcelain. Yes, all of them are porcelain. Okay. All right. I have no first, reason to dis. I have no reason to disbelieve anything he said. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down too. First, let's follow ones that had concluded, not as expected, but as chance has dictated. You watch as he pulls a card out from a deck that just apparates in his hand, and he places a card that looks exactly like Willow's picture down in front of you. Oh, right. She was there when we met you. Her fate was rather curious, this one. Though, and he turns towards you, Esme. I must confess, you must be rather confused. I'm a traveling fortune teller, going place to place, providing fortunes, some true, some otherwise. Really, it's quite the sham. But I do like to see what actually comes true and what doesn't. I gathered. Let's start with Miss Willow, it was. The gorgeous mask of ivory masquerading. Well, I'm sure you figured out what that one meant, though I will not dictate or detail as one could run off with such information and doom a plan made perfect. The Tome of Knowledge was her second card, because I'm sure she sticks a nose in a book as much as she does as anyone else. That one was more of a determinant and the one that is constant. And the last one, and you watch as he flips the card, which is the Maw of the Beast. A dragon is a rather fearsome foe, even more so one of ancient quality. Wouldn't you agree, Sir Knight? Remy is just going to stand at attention. He does not trust Faye. <laughs> but, and you watch as he takes up the card and kind of does like, you know how people flip a coin between their each knuckle? Ooh. Yep. He does the same thing with the card somehow as well. That's a flexible card, right? This, this oh. card did not come true thanks to your actions. So fate did not decree, and so my prediction goes wrong, and so no refunds. And he tosses the card, and it simply vanishes. <laughs> On to yours, Sir Cobalt. Dash just holds up the card. <clears throat> There are three cards of which I pulled you on that festival day. I, Monty, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I know, I know. Give me a second. I'm getting music. Okay, okay. Like, I, I'm just like that was so fucking long. Oh, I don't remember the ones in detail. I just I remember know. the grandma card. Do you, do you, do you want to link the first, it really quick? The first of cards of which you pulled, Sir Cobalt, was the fall. 
He places a card in front of you, what appears to be a soldier on their knees. Their sword is facing down to the ground and their helmet sitting low, mournful stance. Your homeland was a lively place until it was torn from you. And though fight as you will, sometimes rest better fits a soldier who has fought for so long. He pulls the second card and places it in front of you. The Kindred Spirit card. The Kindred Spirit was your second card. Congratulations on the marriage. Ash just smiles at that. There is no smile in return due to the mask, but you get the sense by the body language there's sort of like this sort of cheeky smile underneath. Mm hmm. And then Tash puts the third card down. My, my, my. You've been rather cruel with one, and though it appeared, it has not come to fruition. It's a rather foreboding card, if you might, my, might say. I am remiss and curious how it ends, though if it ends poorly, again, no refunds. Well, as you've said, it's much better to see if it comes out to chance. Why force a play? I, fl I flip the card. You hear a voice enter your mind, Task. I, 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 I know this person. I don't say this out loud. This is to, to Aos. Keep talking. What do you have? I, 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 I don't know. Is this before, uh, is this before I met you? They don't Like, in your realm? Or before that? They seem to be pondering and are remain silent. Ah, yes, your employee. I believe their name was Merrill. They had drawn three cards as well. Aye, I'm gonna keep him talking while Aos is recollecting. The Great Ocean was her first card, given that she's a traveler. No doubt that the traveling from Alton to Alavast is a long and arduous one. Would you not agree, Sir Knight of the Bold and Stiffed Spine? No words. Oh, this motherfucker's trying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nope. Mm. Bosco wants to say some shit. Remy's gonna be a good boy. Continue! The second card was similar to the Maiden's first card, which was the Tome of Knowledge, being that she is a studious individual. Her writing has gotten impre uh, more impressive, though she needs to remove more S's from her dialect. You can blame that one on your companion known as, I believe, Hasrod. He is incorrigible. <laughs> to think that they became fast friends. What a strange chance that is. Stranger things have happened. And I hope more begin to happen soon. But her last card, and he flips it, and you see <clears throat> Predator. Oh. Strangely enough, this card was not meant for the individual that it eventually applied to. Curious that. He kind of flips the card in his fingers. Though Alavast is filled with threats of many manners, the threat of which occurred with her was not the one determined to happen first. So it's a half-truth in a way, but still a lie, but still half-true... No refunds, and that is the only constant that applies. He places the card down. Greckles. Mm -hmm. Yours was a romantic prediction. It was, though confusing at the time, but I think I understand a little bit more why these were chosen. The first one was the dancer. Uh, the woman in the beautiful dress. I wonder, was that Sully Andrus? Hardly not. It was Yukiko. You know how she did, like, her little two-step, and he does a little dance in the middle of the room. That's true. That is true. And a maiden who dances does carry herself with grace. Saliandris, though mighty and proud that she may be, still stumbles every now and again. Armor is not so fun to dance in. Wouldn't you agree, Sir Knight? Brian, Every so time he says that, we all... Nope. Panic, it just looks over I the shoulder. I can just imagine at... all four of your heads just like... Rick! Turn to me. <laughs> Turn back. <laughs> Monty, are you is Esme getting more of this than the rest of them are, considering? You want insight? Yeah, I would love to. Absolutely. Go ahead. Whoop. Whoop. 14. 14. This individual seems to be greeting the party as if they're old friends, but it seems like the party is not reciprocating in a way. Oh, oh I thought no. it was inciting, like, Remy and the whole... Oh, thing, Remy? He keeps digging at him. Remy, do you want to roll? Remy, are you okay with a check on him, and do you want to do a deception check? 
Wait, am I? Wait, I'm confused. So wait, Esme, she rolled an insight. Esme, Esme wants to insight you. Oh, I, I'm not going to resist. It's very clear. He clearly is not playing along with whatever game this person is trying to bait him into. Well, anyway, moving on. The next one was the Tongue of Lies, I believe. And, hmm, sounds a little bit like, uh, you say, mm. lying, lying to me to get to the realm. Yes. They had to get you where they needed to go. But a lie is not often a painful thing. Though whether or not it is right or wrong is one for them to decide. Each individual that is affected by said lie. Would you not agree, Panic Grim Tongue and the aphromal and shining armor, Sir Knight? Uh, I still have thoughts about that, but... But Fortune Teller, and... this, this one still vexes me, the fallen soldier. I am sorry about the passing of your friend. Ah. Uh. Though it seemed as if no one else in your employ and your near surroundings were affected by such a card. That being said, those sorts of ventures tend to be the ones where I have someone knocking at my door demanding a refund. To which I respond, no refunds. How much did he, how much did we pay him? For Not the that much. For uh, I think it was like... A paltry sum. It was a very paltry well. sum. It was like five gold like, or something. Yeah, like five gold or something. Well, I'll tell you, fortune teller. These were actually very happy things. So rather than asking for a refund, I shall double the price for you. And I will give him five gold. Please, gold only has the value on the material plane before I leave. I carry none with me here. That's right. That was a little quirk that we learned about you. Yeah, you buried your gold, if I recall. You do remember. Though, I'm sure the T-Fox remembers more fondly. <laughs> oh. Now, on to new friends and faces. And he turns towards Esme and Remy. My lady, would you be interested in a fortune? I'll even scrub the fee due to such lovely company. Do as you like. Very well. You watch as he kind of casts his hand and three cards appear in front of you, and he flips the first card. To be expected, the moon. You have a good relationship with the moon, I am told. She narrows her eyes at him. You could say so. Ah, I know so. Do you ever wonder why it was you? What? Why he fell so in love. Explain. Your father. You know, your... She shoots out of her chair and her sickle is out and pointed at him now. Whoa, 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 easy, easy. Stop messing with me! I am not messing. If you wish for the fortune to stop, the fortune stops. Uh... Her hand Remy, rolls. seeing the She's outburst, shaking. Remy is going to walk over behind Esme and put a soft talon on your shoulder, and if you flinch, she'll move it. Her hand, her head jerks a little bit, but she sort of just stiffens. And there is the man that lies underneath, says the fortune teller to you, Remy. Remy will not respond, but he will keep his hand on the shoulder of Esme. Why then? That is a question for you to discover. Or chance may have it that you never know. Let us move to your second card. And he flips it over, and it is called the Sprout. This one seems obvious. You are growing. The world is new, and strange things seem to keep happening to you. And he looks around the room. Sorry about that, but no refunds from me or from life. Okay. And the last card, and he flips it. And you see a depiction of an individual with a sword slaying a mighty beast. Well, that's a good card to get. Inner Strength. I 
Can't you speak plainly? Because I am no plain thing. She sits back down in her chair. If it makes you feel better, this is a rather good card. But it comes with a strong choice. Whatever you choose, well, I'd be curious to see what chance does. Does it involve and me getting out of here? That's for you to decide. You, Sir Knight, are you entertained? Would you wish to have your fortune told? Or would you rather we run some drills? I do believe you like jumping jacks, push-ups, and being told what to do. Great. Remy is going to look at Esme and sit her in the chair. And as he says that, there will be a very slow turn of his head from looking at Esme to now glaring directly at this thing. He will unfasten either side of his helmet and he will raise up his visor so that he can look this thing directly in the eye. You seem very fond of your insults. If I wanted to entertain my friends, I could hire a much better jester than you. I'm not so you, in the mood for games. So you see them as insults then? He's just gonna keep glaring at him. Remy, for what it's worth, Panic Task and I, when we met him, there was no malice, and there still isn't. A lot of questions, a lot of oddities, but there was no malice or evil. And Let's no just all clear breath. answers. And no refunds. Well, that is part of the fun, isn't it, Fortune Teller? Task it reflips. is. Task reflips his cards. For what it's worth, I'm quite happy with the results. Likewise. <laughs> Why are you thanking me? I know Hand had no hand in making them be. They were a simple guess. Like I say, all of this is quite literally a scam. But still, no refunds. Make the fortunes as you wish them to be, then, I suppose. Or a good guess every now and again. None of this helps us get out of here. No. But I've been thoroughly entertained. And as for why you're here, I'm curious. What does he mean, me? No, he's looking at everybody in this instance. Uh, curious you didn't do what? me. You know, I never did. But God forbid I try and predict your eclectic life. Bards are impossible. Ha ah. <laughs> ha Uh. Yeah. Just looks distantly and <laughs> Big stares at the middle distance. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hold on a minute. I did do your fortune, didn't I? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm distracted. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> wow, even I, I forgot about your fortune. I'm sorry. Now I'm yeah. forgetting today. What is happening? Help! The Feywild! It's leaking out of the game and into real life! Shit! Monty, <laughs> if you die in the game, you die in real life! Oh, oh god. Jesus Christ! I'm playing well, fucking very dangerously close to some Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, season Zero you shit. No, when my D&D &D character died, I, I felt myself die a little inside, too. Oof. <laughs> yeah, that's a new for there. Dead. Panic, as you kind of look forward. The first one is the Forge. It appears to be a depiction of a dwarf working in a forge. Your dad's a real shit, huh? He... He could be. Well, your mother's going to see to that. Either he's going to improve or he's... Ugh, when, I told uh, her not to hurt him. When he mentions Panic's family, that's when Remy's going to put the visor down and latch it shut. Mm. Second one. Wolf on the end of the rope, taut. So taut rope is the card. You felt held back, but were you truly? I think I was doing it to myself. 
And I certainly think you were. And here's one of the predictions that never came to be. And he flips the throne of fire. The death of clean sound. Well, could always be in need of a prince, I'm sure. But you resolved yourself, and for that, well, the rewards be justified. And I'm sure your friends appreciate it all the same. You are you, after all. And a throne is a prison in many different ways. Hmm. Now, here's a funny thing, and something I wish to wrap my brain around, and perhaps with your sudden intrusion, you could assist me in such a way. What on, what on the plains could we do? For every fortune told, my own has not come at all. And not in its realization, but in its perception as a whole. Are you cursed to never know your fate or to hold destiny to it? I do not think that I am the only one. Panic? Greckles and Task, you all feel a sudden fear deep inside of you. Mm. If you hear, uh, sorry, panic, you hear If speak out and say, Dust drifting directionless divine. Connect the dots before. That mask. That begs the question then. You came to us with the cards for fortune. But were you aware that this meeting might actually transpire? Not at all. You could have died, or found another path, or given up entirely. So where does that lead us now that we're here? To the future. An uncertain one. Which is all the more exciting. Greckles, you, uh, oh, you hear Kai speak up in your head. Of all the entities of heaven and sky, I beg now the question, why this guy? <laughs> awesome. You feel dripping contention coming from Kai. Hmm. So I take it that you know what I am, perhaps. An idea. A fun place to start. Well, madam, and he turns towards you, Esme, this fortune teller in the sort of cravat and beautiful suit jacket with a strange mask. He turns towards you, Remy. Stiff. And he watches his form shimmers. Similar to a magic that you know, Esme, and the rest you've seen before, as the disguised self shimmers away and standing on top of the table, small in stature, is this individual. Oh boy. Ooh, art. Ooh, fucking go. Here we go. Oh. Oh man! Oh. Oh, what? He's adorable. Little oh, guy. Look at him. Little guy. Oh, he looks. He looks like the kid that uh, Anj would have. He, he looks like the little shadow figures from Silent Hill. That squeak. Okay. Well, now that you say that, that's oddly appropriate, but also creepy. Oh, Knock him over. He'll make a funny sound. Why is he so small? Dude, does he have a squeaker in him? 
He, it looks like he's got a bell for a mouth. I love the mask design. Yeah. Oh. Yo, that that actually like makes me feel like G Nib Pen, <laughs> looking at the mouth. Mm-hmm. And and so, how do we address you then? I am Tio. That is the name I was given, and there will be no refunds for it. Oh, so that's your shtick, huh? Hmm. Oh, I would oh, refrain the... from the shticks. Your friend doesn't seem to like them very much. And he kind of jabs a thumb towards Remy. <laughs> or He's... so he would like you to believe. He might have a shtick up his ass, but he's good people. He is. He seems to forget pretty often, though. What are what? you? Nothing that you would understand, milady. but for the rest of these fools who have stumbled into my home, I'm sure it makes perfect sense. Oh, come on now. You don't have to be that mean about it. We've learned a lot about you and the rest of you. Then shall we bring you up to speed as to why we're here? Oh, I know precisely why you're here. I don't know why you're here. And he points towards Esme. I know why you're here. He points towards you, Remy. And I know why the rest of you are here. That begs the question, then. Most entities that don't know of your existence can't see you. She can. Mm Mm-hmm. The Feywild has a fickle way with revealing what wants to be hidden and hiding what wants to be revealed. I found that it's not so much a waste of time to forget to conceal myself. Does that... Pass like kind of like rubs his chin, looks down. Does that mean our little extra selves can actually have a physical form here? Not in this place. For them, this is not the realm of a god. This is the realm that is a god. Oh, we're in a god now. Cool! (laughs) Oh, yeah! (laughs) Car- the, the carriage is a god? Oh, the carriage is not, my dear, but have you walked around and have you ever asked yourself, my, my, Tio, why isn't there no god of chaos? Well, I said that above game, but... <laughs> yeah. As, like, looks at Remy and then looks at Tio, no way. The aspect of chaos... That is not who I am. No refunds. I am not the aspect of chaos. I am Kai's favorite aspect, which is the aspect of change and chance. And Greckles, you hear in the deep of the depth of your mind. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, probability. For for those of you that don't get it, Kai's like. The aspect of how would you describe my like fate. not like determinants fate. Yeah. and fate, and Tio is the aspect of chance and random who knows. So polar opposites, basically. Yeah. <laughs> well, I see we were all going to get along very well. Well, that's hard to say. Me and my friends don't quite get along all the time, and we have different ways of wanting to solve the problem that we find ourselves so all in. I'm sure, no doubt, Kai has tried to trail the thread to the very end of where we start, and hasn't found anything. And to that end, I've also found a great surplus of frustration. Only Ith is, no doubt, content with the current state of affairs. But that could be beguiled or questioned further. No refunds. Gonna mentally check in on if you hear if excitedly go dust drifting directionless divine. How does Aos feel about this? You 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 know me and this guy are pretty similar, but he's a little too lax about things, if you ask me. Man, us us being paired together makes way more sense the more you speak. I'll, 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 I'll take that as a compliment. You shall. <laughs> because it was one. Well then, uh, 
Tio, does that mean you'll be joining us? Why would I help lies? <laughs> really, honestly, truly, why would I help that fucking idiot? Oh, this sounds interesting. Why the resentment? Uh, Monty, insight. Ins go ahead. Yeah, that would be, hmm. Sure. Fuck it, why not? I don't think well, I get anything out of this, but I'll roll it. 18. Oh, an 8. God. 18. 18. None of you can read him. He is a mask after all. He is a faceless <laughs> mask after all. Well, <laughs> then okay, then I'll just I'll just rephrase, I'll rephrase then. Mm, why the resentment? Lies was a fickle, idiotic creature. Because he so often, and I mean this with no offense and no free funds, so often conglomerated with them. He always had this nasty habit of getting attached. Mm, but is fickleness not part of random chance? Fickleness is a side effect of random chance, and random not often it be. Random it often be by made of choice, not choice made to be determined by the outcome. So, what aspect was lies? Lies was no aspect. Lies is a piece of ourselves that does not like ourselves. Lesser than another piece, but more than the average pieces that exist. Lies tried to fill what he was with something that could not work. Lies, and he watches Tio turns to all of you, is as broken and as desperate as you are. So a god can have problems as well, then. Have you not met them? At, yes, multiple. We have. <laughs> Many of them seem very content in their position. That's a weird statement to hear, Esme. Which was, which was the statement? That we've they've met gods. Met we've, we've met gods. Not? <laughs> we've, we've met them. We've hung out well, with them. Well, I guess, I guess in her case. <laughs> what frustrates me, frustrates me a great deal and is the antithesis of what I am is the fact that my fate is intertwined with his, as is the fate of Eos, Kai, and Ith. Wait, wait, wait. You're speaking of fate as the aspect of change and chance. So you can see why I'm a little agitated, yes. Well, Is there no way to consider that... Not so much... Well, I'm trying to... It's very difficult to describe what I'm trying to say here. But it would it not be would it not be chance for you to actually see where the outcome would lead us if you went with us? If you took the chance for it? It would be fulfilling fun. somewhat of what you are. It would be fun to engage in the final little chances that may exist. An event that would rock the heavens and material plane? How would that not be the most amazing thing to see of chance and change? The ultimate. An entire city or an entire world possibly being destroyed or not. Would that not be the greatest change in chance to see? I can think of a I greater think... change. And he watches his eyes turn towards Remy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is your Dark Souls choose light or, or dark moment, Remy. Come on. <laughs> Remy will lock eyes with him with the mask still on. Is it just staring at him? Oh, yeah. He's just staring at you. He's just looking. Are you folks and me? Inside him? Sure. Not look at him. Fucking wow. 14. I rolled really low. Oh no. 
he's looking at you like a, an extrovert would look at his introvert friend before taking them on an adventure. <laughs> Remy will not undo the visor. Remy is going to unhook the helmet. And he is going to pull it completely off. He's going to set it down on the chair next to him. And he's he's on a table, right? Yeah, he's standing on top of the table where the cards are. Remy's going to walk up to the table and just glare at him for a minute. A fortune teller that can tell his own fortune. I see you're as cursed as Flordemort. A man who is not a man. Who thinks himself a thing that must be carved to fit a mold. You are just as cursed as I and him. The only difference is I've long since admitted it. Remy's going to turn to Greckles. We need this thing to help Alavast, yes? I am not a thing. <laughs> he does have a Remy's point. Remy's just waiting for Greckles to answer. He has a point, <laughs> Remy. This isn't, this isn't necessarily a vehicle. There's something much larger going on that we still don't completely understand. And we need the fortune teller, yes? I'm not a thing. That was very rude. <laughs> you two are going to get along so swimmingly. Answer Tur the question, Greckles. You know what, Remy? This is your choice to make. You decide whether this is something that you want to get, in so get yourself involved in. And he's just going to take some steps back and just give you that same side glance look he gave you before. Ash, like, puts his hands behind his head and looks at Remy. I mean, you know, we're kind of stranded in the middle of a fucking hellscape of the Feywild, but, you know, you can weigh options. I'll take a that as a yes. A choice is where fate and chance fight for ownership of you. Is his face a mask that can be grabbed? Yeah, you can grab him. <laughs> Remy's gonna grab the mask. <laughs> the body, as you grab the mask, the body dissipates into just like ethereal smoke and vanishes. One of us, one of us, Kubulgabo. You know, your nose is a little bit robust. I think I know exactly where I should perch myself during this venture. Remy's going to hook him to his belt. Actually, I was thinking up a little bit more on the shoulder. Remy's going to leave him on his belt and go pick up his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to put the helmet back on and clasp it shut. I want an emotional check on Aos after all this. Is just <laughs> right? He's then he going to no take eyes. a very you long look at Greckles. He's then going to take a very long look at Greckles before looking back at everybody else. Surely there's something better we can be doing. Yes, you could be following me, and as you look around, you see Tiro back in his physical form, opening up the hatch that leads out of the place. <laughs> I, um... Wait. Tass, like, bites his lip and, like, holds his hand out, like... Wait. Well, well, Tiro. Hang on, follow... Oh! Yes, Esme, how may I help you? You said you won't help, but you can give information, right? Oh, I certainly can. He closes the hatch. She goes over to him. She unwraps the leaf she crushed, smooths it out, and shows it to him. Who is this? Oh. Well, they are, there are some fey lords in your area who are single and ready to mingle, it seems. <laughs> she looks at him with just like... It's a weird cross of emotions. It's like surprise, confusion, and then just utter like the fuck. Huh. This place is weird. What? 
<laughs> Are you saying what I think you're saying? <laughs> Listen, we've got repeating strange monstrosities, trees that end forever, lice lawns, and God knows what else. It gets lonely around here, I'm sure. Oh, she doesn't look happy. <sighs> One more question. Oh, you can ask as many as you wish. Why has he been silent? Her face kind of crumples and she looks just so sad. Because, my dear, a door has been shut. But don't despair. I'm sure in some manner you can open it back up. Maybe. No refunds. Fine. She turns away. That reminds me. You are all very mortal and also need to sleep. Yeah. That. that yes. Would be, that, that would be handy. I might have something to help with that. Of course, my master must permit me as such. And he looks up towards you, Remy. I'm not your master. Do as you please. Ah, but you are. And I still will, but you are. You know, looking back, this all makes so much sense. Remember the Yugoloth, what we found there? Mm-hmm. Oh, I. Pieces are starting to fall into place. But we still have to ask the all-important question. If lies wasn't the thing that gravely injured Orin, what was? There we go. You watch as Tio returns back with what appears to be three viscous liquid vials. Uh, you'll drink about half of this and then give the other half to a friend. Spread the germs. It's all fun. Are you giving and, us a uh, roofie? No, it's <laughs> It's a vial of medicine. Come on, Zito. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Does Kai have anything to say about this <laughs> mysterious liquid? <laughs> this is sheer distilled melatonin. <laughs> oh, God. oh, it tastes like sleepy time tea. <laughs> yeah, but like mine tastes like Flintstones gummy. <laughs> <laughs> The taste may be different each time. It's more part of the fun. And if you don't like it, no refunds. Sorry, Monty, I had to. It was such an easy joke. It was so fucking it was right there. It's like it's like you you take the vial and you flip it around, it's got like the celestial teas on the side or whatever that brand is. Oh, <laughs> All right, all right. If it'll help us sleep. Is there any particular place you mind that we set up? Well, the floor is covered in rugs. I mean, that's about as good as it's going to get. Uh. It might surprise you, but I don't sleep very often. Oh. Uh. I'm not sure if you would even know. So sometimes when we cast spells around here, weird stuff happens. Is there like a rhyme or reason to that that we can identify or is it just random every time abandon all rhyme and reason this place doesn't play with such things but i like Remy. <laughs> i like spell slots so go 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 <laughs> yeah i'm gonna take i'm gonna take exactly half and save the rest for whenever we need another long rest I'll I'll look to our our other compatriots, Remy and Esme. Oh. 
<clears throat> okay. She'll step up. <laughs> All right. Panic. Yep. Yours tastes like ground up beetles. You know? Doesn't Earthy. actually taste that bad. <laughs> I wanted to ask, does panic like beetles? <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't think he gets that choice. <laughs> <laughs> Remy. Oh, that was meant for task. Sorry. Uh, so I want to do something. I don't want to drink the potion if that's cool. Okay. Yeah. So when you offer it to Esme, she'll drink it, but Remy will put the cork back in it and hand it back to you to save for later. Recre I mean, we'll, really, really quick. Yeah. Um, we will start suffering points of exhaustion, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Fair enough. Go How ahead. long does this stuff last, Monty? Do we have to keep taking it? You have no idea. So to to to, to coin a horrible joke from back in the day, Monty, tell me how it tastes. <laughs> Yours tastes like fruit roll-ups. Oh hell yeah! Like liquid fruit roll-ups. That's oh, mine. Tastes the like the best one. Oh man, this oh, is man. this is awesome. Uh, I got bugs. Yours tastes like <laughs> soy sauce and ketchup mixed together in a very liquidy form. Oh, why, Monty? Oh. Oh. Wait, that's me? No, that's that's Esme's. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, why? <laughs> uh, tasks. Your yours tastes like milk, and whether or not that's a good or bad thing is for you to decide. Huh. <laughs> so that's what this stuff tastes like. You know, and what if immediately, you did, all of you pass why did out. You all, why did you all get food and I got put <laughs> Face plant. Man, if you could solidify this, it just... <laughs> oh, so that's what this tastes... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, they're all sleeping in a weird pile. That's both strange and adorable. Uh, Monty. Yeah. Are there still cards on the table? There are. Remy's going to walk over to the table. Okay. And he's going to start shuffling the cards. Not extremely well, because I don't have cards as something that I'm proficient at. But, as like, if you've ever seen somebody shuffle a deck that doesn't know what they're doing, it would be the very basic few cards at a time. You would just be looking at me. <laughs> I'm that man. Um, and Remy's going to deal the first card on top, face up. To Tio? Or to yourself? To myself. I'm going to flip it on the table so I can see it. Okay. Ambition is the first card. And you see a humanoid figure, an adult, holding the hand of a younger figure. Remy's going to flip the second card from the top. Fellowship is the second card. Depicts individuals walking side by side, pointing over a mountain peak. He's going to take a very long pause, inhale deeply, and then flip the third card. Reflection. An individual on one side completely reflected by the individual on the other side. He's going to put the stack of cards down and pick up that third card and just look at it for a minute. Tio is like throwing like jackets on top of the party who are all snoring collectively. Panic's at the Remy bottom. Esme's like leaning on top of Panic. Greckles is all <laughs> foofed up and his like beak is tucked behind his arm. And Task is sleeping on top like Snoopy on top of his doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Tio gently puts a blanket over top of Task and kind of goes. Did you just say Tiango? Tio. Tio. Oh. Tio goes. I Come pull on. out my sword and go for round two. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. 
And they slow turn towards you as you're examining the card. Do I see him look over? He does. Uh, Remy will immediately try to put the card down and turn his back and shuffle them back into the deck. I fear that you may meet someone or something that is the worst form of yourself that you will dread. Remy will turn towards the mask on the ground. They're corporeal again. They have a body. They didn't like being on your ways. <laughs> <laughs> so you're Teo, a fortune teller. Was. It seems I've been forced into early retirement. As who? Remy's gonna pick up the stack of cards and he's gonna walk them over to Teo. Does it look like he can, like, I know he's got, like, a ghost body, but does it look like he can hold anything? Because he was holding coats. Yeah, he's physical. He, he definitely can hold stuff. And he's going to hand the cards to Tio. As you offered them to him, he looks up at you. Have you ever dobbled? Ever tried? Cards, you mean? Predictions. <clears throat> Once, recently, less of a prediction and more of an investigation. Well, that's no fun, is it? Would you entertain me? He's going to look at the pile of people sleeping and then back to the <laughs> mask. Sure. Perhaps the missing element was... Someone else stealing the cards. Remy's going to shuffle the cards and hand them back. He puts his hand up and pushes them back in your hand. Time to be the fortune teller. No investigation. Prediction. He's going to motion for him to follow him back to the table. He stands on top of the table as you sit down in front of it. The cards in tow. Remy is going to pull the first card off the top. The Lost is the first card. That's going to make Remy pause. And then he'll go for a second card. And he'll pull it off the top. The Traveler. Interestingly enough, this card depicts a carriage almost identical to the one you are currently in. He will again take a deep breath in and pull the third card off the top and flip it. As you flip it and place the card from corner to cover, Every single part of it is ink black. And Remy will put the stack down and he will again grab that third card and look at it. One last romp to see some chance, I think. Tio turns and looks towards the pile of sleeping people. None of them know. Remy's going to look at them. I'm sure you no doubt know what it's like to carry a burden, to see how terrible things are. How it eats at you. Insight? Go ahead. So that's a 22. I'm specifically looking for if that was more 
for him than it was for me. 22? Both. That's what I figured. Okay. Remy is again, for the third time, going to take off his helmet. And this time he'll put it on the table. You speak from experience. And fear. And fear. I apologize that you have apparently been wrapped up in all of this. We are not so much like you, but we speak and feel very similarly. Our existences and our fates are tethered in such a way that even the most erratic of choices leads to, well, no satisfaction. Did you know it would end here? I do not know if it will. He looks over at the black card. No, what I mean is, did you know you would end up here? I remember floating amongst the stars. There were thousands of us. Some better off than others. Like Kai. Gods, what a disaster he is. Did he say Kai? Mm hmm. Greckles sneezes. Remy's gonna look at Greckles. Greckles, like, nuzzles in a little more and gets more comfy with the blankets. I'm jesting. I would hope so. For a time, I knew I had to go somewhere but I did not know in the same vein. Only in retrospection did I realize that many of us who landed the material plane were consumed. Others had to either abide by the gods that they ended up with or beg to them. And those that met gods of great evil, well, their fate is left unspoken. I'm just going to look back at that black card when he says that particular line. But that is not that fate. That is something else. Something new. Something very unknown. It's, it's fitting, really. How so? Most would see that black card and assume... This is it, that it's all over. But I see that card as possibility. I'm not supposed to know, so I'm not being told. I have no expectation. All I know is I never die easy. So whatever is to come, I'm going to make it work for it. And I will guarantee that they make it out alive. And he'll kind of nudge his beak towards everybody sleeping. They are an eclectic, raucous, rambunction gaggle of hooligans. They're much more than that. They're family. May I be part of it? You know what that means, don't you? Please, just a pauldron. I would look so good with the blues and the... Or, sorry, the purples and the um, grays. Just remember that you did ask for these. Of course. No refunds. No refunds. I think I'm going to like you. You say that now. <laughs> Welcome to House Corbeau, Tio. 
And Remy's gonna put the helmet back on and clasp it shut. Alright. Tio takes the form of a pauldron that sits on one shoulder. Remy will put it on. Okay. And he's gonna watch over everybody while they sleep. And essentially stand guard. And that's where we're going to take a break. Oh, boy. Oh, fucking damn it. <sighs> main nice. character. Main character. Oh. Main character. Main character. No, fuck off, guys. You don't know what this means. Yeah, I know. <laughs> sure we don't. All right, I'm going to get snapped. Well, I don't. <laughs> oh, Sorry, boy. Sarah. I hope you're not too confused. <laughs> I know nothing. This is unfortunately something all guest characters have to deal with. <laughs> yeah, this just looking at all of them like, Wait, is the world ending? What's going on? Monty? I mean, uh huh. Really nice scene. Well uh -huh. done. Yeah. I'm gonna get a snack. I'm gonna get oh, me a boy. drink. Actually, wait, I can do this. This is the last time I can do this. Hang on one second. I'll be right back for the halftime show, guys. Oh no. Oh no. Well, while well, while he is gone, uh, I would just like to say that I am sorry for the shit show that was the announcement <laughs> earlier. I have a fucking gun, Bosco! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, if if it's you would gun. allow me, it's a prop gun. I'm not, it's not a real gun. It's a prop gun for scenes and mocapping. I'm sure. I I should probably go ahead and explain some of the things that uh, are going to happen for the October game. Uh, that I completely neglected to. Uh, first of all, yes, my players are going to be Lanny Pator, Booz McBalrog, Gaijin Goomba. Therapod Art and Mark Allen Jr. In an all goblin run through of the Tales from the Yawning Portal module uh, known as White Plume Mountain. Uh, and you may have noticed the little ditty in the middle there that said, in collaboration with Astral. Uh, that is because this is going to be taking place on a brand new virtual tabletop called Astral. Trying out a new place. Yeah, we're trying out something a bit different. I'm gonna go try and microwave my pancakes and see if I can Ooh. get a dent in them, so I'll be right back. Yeah, we're we're stepping away briefly from Roll20 for for just a month. Uh but the the Ravenloft game will continue to be on Roll20, but the White Plume Mountain uh module will be on Astral Tabletop. Uh, but, yeah. I, I hope to see you all there. I hope you all enjoy it. This will be my first time DMing 5th edition. And I'm very excited for it. Oh, yeah. Put a little dish of water in the microwave so you don't have to have dry pancakes, Monty. Leave it, to, leave it to Connor to be the first one not to do roll 20. The meme is ascended. Okay. Welcome back. Oh, wow. This is fun. Yeah. Uh, was it? I, out of all the things I didn't expect, I really didn't expect this. Oh, unexpectables yeah, and all that. You're right. I am sorry. I did DM 5th edition before. I completely forgot. This will be my second time DMing 5th edition. Hopefully Our the episode doesn't run too long. <laughs> like it did last time I did 5th edition. Or all the other times I've DM'd. I don't know. I didn't think it was that bad. Uh, bad. Mm. Long. Yeah. No decrew this year. That is correct. There will be no decrew this year for various reasons. Uh, first and foremost being that uh, GW doesn't like their fans doing things. Nope. 
Not at all. And so yeah, I'm yeah, not welcome going to the to. halftime show, Connor. You are welcome to get the fudge out of here. Okay. You probably want water or something, right? Yeah. But yeah, I'm back. Sorry, we were pancaking it up because there's still days worth of pancakes in there. What up, guys? I hope you're enjoying. So, how's it feel? Hmm. What's that? How's it feel? That was a great role play scene. I thought I just congratulated Monty on it downstairs. Oh. How's it feel to have an aspect now? Who will forever live in your Oh, mind? it'll be it'll be fun. It's a really interesting character that I'm uh, looking forward to exploring. Hell yeah. I'm back. It also gives me something to do when I'm in my armor not talking. <clears throat> oh. Yo, guys, you got me some of them fucking almond chocolates we got from the store. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. And they're crisp, too. Uh, also, guys, I'm very excited that Ravenloft's coming back. And actually, because we're starting in October, it starts this Saturday. Yep. I'm back. So, yeah. Raven Ravenloft is back. For those of you don't that don't remember the original crew, it was our very own Christopher Zito, Monty, Mark Allen Jr., which that was that was fun. Connor's there. He's not here now, but he was. And uh, of course, Theropod, which means Thero's gonna be in both games, which is gonna be fun. Yeah. And then sorry. because because Mr. Zito is not able to join us this year because he's gonna be kicking ass. It's Tuesdays for TFS, right? It, what what channel? Uh, it it uh we we haven't actually like given a full proper announcement about it yet, but we will be soon. Uh, okay, good. But it will be. But it, so keep your eyes peeled for TFS on YouTube because I'm sure it. we'll have something to explain that. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, I am because I get to fucking screw around with homebrew. I've been working on for the better half of two years. You are the king of homebrew. Like, yeah. well, I'm th the, this is actually going to be my first foray into actually making like a completely brand new setting. So, mm. like, it's not not hard, but I actually want to like make books on it and shit. So nice. Yeah. That, that reminds oh, yeah, me dude. really quick. Um, because no one's asked, so I'm just going to say it anyway. Um, mm. The only race that I've been putting together is completely stat blocked, all five variations of them. So all I have to do now is get art and fluff, get it programmed in, and it will be ready. Hey, Gaijin, I know nice. a guy. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm Tell me about this guy. His name is Jack Kaiser. Oh, no, mm. fuck that guy. He's drawn some Onis in the past, but they yeah. weren't very good. They weren't. Yeah. No, they weren't. Like, why would you go back to him? <laughs> also, sorry for eating in the mic. These pancakes are delicious. Um, speaking of Jack Kaiser, Jack Kaiser did the art of Tio. You guys saw it earlier, so thank Hell you. Hell yeah. Yep. Uh, by the oh, way, I'm on that. By the oh. way, a lot of people. I just want to say this right now because there's a lot of people. A lot of people didn't pick up on the fact that the fortune teller had a porcelain mask. Mm-hmm. I was looking. I think Monty, me and you had a conversation a long time ago, like real late at night, about the fortune teller, and you didn't say shit. But I had a feeling. Mm -hmm. And the sec, the second, the second we saw that carriage, I was like, I fucking knew it. In my heart of hearts. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Brown Hello. bread and peanut butter is amazing. I was ravenous yeah. for some reason all of a sudden. Did you finish there your is, pancakes, There is something Sarah? I will say, though. No. <laughs> yes, Pazito? Mm. Yes. Sorry, sorry to, like, double back on something. No, no, go ahead. But, go ahead. Uh, what? If, if people have been paying attention to my Twitter, you might actually, like, if you actually have been, like, watching my Twitter over the past month or so, you can get inklings of what I might be doing for TFS. Ooh, all right, guys, Ooh. Twitter dive on Zito's. Yeah, yeah like, well, go slash. ahead, go, go Twitter dive, because it actually might also bleed into uh, possibly getting some extra stuff <laughs> off my Patreon that will have to do with it. So, yeah. Well, I appreciate you being the asshole, because now I can circle back. So because yeah, Chris yeah. is not going to be playing with us in Ravenloft, we do have a new player for Ravenloft who will be debuting this Saturday. And if you missed it at the beginning, it is somebody who has never been on this channel before. And Monty is the only human being, because I had to clear it with her. Monty is the only human being that knows who it is. And I'm, I am really excited. She got hyped for it. I, this is, it's going to be great. 
It's it's um, gonna be great. Listen, tune in, find out who it is, and then you'd be like, it well, it's Bosco's game, so Punk. fuck them. It is not CM Punk. <laughs> they don't know that. They don't know that. <laughs> CM Punk uh, has never been on this. Oh wait, I guess I did play him. He's kind of been on this channel. Speaking. Ah, uh, jeez. People, people in chat are asking how to spell T O. It is T I O. There you go. Here, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and be nice and give you guys a cheat. I'm gonna Do post it. something in the Discord. I'm Do gonna post it. something in the chat. That's all you get for free. You no, but seriously, uh, tune into Ravenloft on on Saturday. Find out who the special guest is, and then be like, "Yeah, we're out. It's Bosco's game. Hey, we hate him." What? Yeah, that's what. Because all everybody will show up. They'll be like, "Oh man, I can't believe it's blah blah blah." But it's also Bosco. We gotta go. Sorry, I'm just eating my last little bit of pancake. And we can oh my god, it's so good. You sound so much happier uh, than I'm, you were earlier I'm, eating it. Dude, I was dying earlier. You looked at it in despair. I, they dropped off the pancakes and I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our fat food. It's true. They're, the portions here have been nuts. Also... Yesterday night, we went to a place where they served seafood, and I unleashed my inner self. It was awesome. My truth. <laughs> she looked like she was going to take someone's arm off if they reached for that crab leg. It was amazing. I was just smiling the whole time, being like, Monty's so happy. I, like, so blacked out. Grab this creature from, from Canada from away from the woods. There was a <laughs> section of where I was eating the crab where I just don't remember. Planked it out. <laughs> like Monty, there's a bag of shrimp here. You can have some of that too. Oh Apple. man, did you take the shrimp home? Did we? No, I don't think anyone. No, I no, I think we killed all it. There was, dude, the murder circle was a thing. Oh my god, that table. That, was a we massacre. need to post that picture. That was picture that was carnage. It. Yeah. We, we killed to... so many animals. No plates. There are no plates. They just give you bags of fish, and they go eat you, degenerates. Oh and we God. did. They do. They also, so we had like we had crawfish, don't... we had shrimp, we had crab legs. All of us were monsters, and it oh, wasn't even eat... a full moon. They don't easy mode that stuff either. No, those, we're those, just like oh, those oh, shrimps oh, have oh, their oh, heads oh. still. You have to peel those shrimps out. Yeah, I it was so how to good. Crack so open a crawfish. they also they had three different seasonings, or they're like fuck it, shebang, and put all of them in the bag. And the fried and fish and pretty much everything. Yeah, they just dump. It's literally like plastic bags with fish in it. They just dump it in front of you. Anyway, it's so I'm good, good. I'm good to keep going if you guys are. Yeah. Let me eat one uh, more chocolate I, almond real quick. No, go for can it. Can I just What's up, Connor? send one tweet real quick? It's for the Unexpectables. Yeah. No, absolutely, absolutely not. not. Oh, Can't well, believe. I support you, Connor. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My support means nothing. Also, the griddle had real maple syrup, which means they did. Was, I'm telling gets... Monty, I would, I and Sarah would never do you wrong on food. You sure did once. We went to, we nope. went to, where did I go? That I got. Syrup. Doesn't even remember. <laughs> Are you talking about Yukaku, the freaking. No. Oh, you went there. Oh, you, you better be there. careful what you say oh, about yeah. that place. It's so good. Um, okay. we went to like some breakfast. No, it was the it was the breakfast place that we went to where I got. The really nice hot chocolate in a bowl. And then, like, I got, like, crepes. I got apple crepes. Apple caramel crepes. And they're like, do you want some maple syrup? And I went, yeah. And they brought me fucking lies and disgusting <laughs> sin. Yeah, but hold on a second. Not every place is going to have maple syrup. Also, wasn't that IHOP? No, that was no. Ba that was BB's. Oh, it was BB's. That's what it was. <laughs> they're, getting like, one, they're getting a one-star <laughs> review on, on fucking Yelp. One Bonnie, star you, review because they brought gonna... you fake maple syrup. Really? Yo, listen. Are you gonna fucking? Do you know how many ones I would hand out if I like rated the pizza in LA, Monty? You need to have lower your expectations. I was about to say, me and Bosco sitting here with pizza, just like, nah, nah, uh -huh. one star. Fuck this place. No, nah, one star. Wait, nah, but that's our best place. pizza. I know you just. No, no, it sucks. It, it really fucking problem. blows. Bring up your A game. <laughs> yeah. The difference is, though, this is a country thing. This isn't a section of America thing. Excuse anyway. me, pizza can um, be a country excuse thing. Me? Wow, wow, <laughs> the assumptions. I'm not getting into this one. As in, oh, oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's play some D&D. &D. Let's play some okay. D&D. Don't I mean, worry, I, listen, when this is I all like over, it. you're going to have to see me again. Oh, God, no. Mm. 
And then this is- then this music's gonna play, because we're gonna fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit! I'm ready! Alright. It's oh, fucking man. on. It's on Let's like go. Donkey it's Kong. It's on like Donkey Kong. It's on like Seth that, Rogen. Oh, uh, why would you- I- Connor? Connor. Alright. Coming back into the game now, if everyone is ready. All of you, but Remy. Gain the benefits of a long rest. Fuck! Oh, this feels like deja vu. We've just been in this place before. Yeah, I feel like I've done this before. Oh well. Hi, you're on the street. Maybe it's just me. I have my goodies. You oh all... my god, the crippling sense of deja vu just hit me, bruh. You all awaken? Stiff and sore, and Lee, you wake you wake up the exact same way you fell asleep. It's like... <gasps> Wait, the exact same way we fell asleep? So, we, so even when we were moved into another position? Like, we didn't move at all during the night? You guys collapse on the ground, and the moment you guys awaken, you eyes, your eyes just snap open. There's um, no, excuse like... me, there was a very helpful person that put a blanket on them? Yeah. Yeah. But they still yeah. are awakening with their eyes snapping open. But let's talk about the blanket. Like, what is it made out and, of? And unfortunately, How good did Task, it feel to is be a very, uh, Task is a very selfish sleeper and took the blanket for himself. Can you describe the quilting pattern on it, Monty? <laughs> uh, it's a crochet-style blanket. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Esme quickly slaps, her, slaps a hand to her chest. You know why. Broop, broop, broop. She ate a mushroom. Whoop. Meanwhile, there's a fucking, like, there's like a, fa a quilted Faberge like <laughs> sized egg right next to everyone. <laughs> His task is in the blanket. A cold blooded crucify me. <laughs> Well, that was weird, but I guess I feel a little bit better. Oh, uh, Monty, well, uh, question. Uh, rest in general, like a long rest and a short rest are the exact same thing. It's just time, right? If you can't rest, you can't yeah. rest. Got you can it. Take, you can get a short rest in. I would say. Ooh, I'll take it. Yeah, you'll get a short rest in. Unless you wanted Let's... to take a long rest, you could have. There's still some concoction left. No, I'm going to save the concoction. If I can short rest without it, I'm good. So right. I, I fell hit. on I fell on a panic, didn't I? You did, yeah. Esme like realized that and like backs up so fast and onto her feet and just sort of like turns away and just like What? Fucking really Look. I know us bards have a reputation, but like we're both <laughs> asleep. <laughs> I I just wanna imagine she's got her back to you, but you can see her ears turning red a little bit. All now right. the question becomes, one, how do we get through here? Two, where are we going? The, the fabric shake. Good question, Greggles. Or does it move? <sighs> well, we should probably start with what we came here for to begin with. And what do we know about it? Where could it possibly be? Uh, Remy, can you... Oh. Okay, then, Remy. I, I guess you two finally decided to get along. Just wide-eyed. Remy's just gonna stand at attention. Well, anyway, I was actually gonna try and double-check to see if there was any sort of map of the Feywild. Map of the Feywild. You watch as Remy's shoulder piece steps off and kind of almost like a gecko kind of climbs down on back onto the table. <laughs> Did you not hear my warning earlier? Your logic is flawed because you have logic completely. So then by that reverse logic, we should go outside and just walk in a random direction and may we'll eventually find our way. It's worked for me so far. Besides, how do you think I even made those potions you drank? I just mixed some stuff together and hoped it worked, and you believed it, and it happened. 
You actually was... put bugs in that, didn't you? <laughs> Butterflies. Oh, now I feel bad. No refunds. Well, well uh... all things considered, if this is how the rules of the realm works... There is guarantees, but then there is uncertainties. Combine them together, they become maybes, somewhats, and could get close. This thing really is just a mask version of the Cheshire Cat. Oh. We're all mad here, Greckles. I'm not mad at all. I'm having a great time. <laughs> um, I'm a before, little mad. Before we get too distracted, Esme takes out her book again and offers the quill. Anyone who wants to. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Guys, let's write it in. The burrito on the floor. I can't hear you. I'm sleeping. Get up, Task. Ah! Greckles, as you write your name in, you feel like a bemoaning, like, whininess in the depth of your being. You just hear a mumbling in the depths of your mind going, When I arrived here, we were such a content and happy trio. What have I done wrong to now have to travel alongside with Tio? <laughs> it's all done for the greater good. So think forward and think what you should. My noble Demeter is just such a hit. He lives in a caravan. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Kai's starting to unravel a little bit, it seems. <laughs> it's like staring at you the whole way, like actually trying to parse a rhyme. Like, if before they were all flawless. Now it's just like, uh, 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 fu fuck. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna break iambic pentameter. I know it. <laughs> all right, who's signing the book? Uh, I, just, sign. I just did. Okay, Greckles. I'll Kat, sign as well. Panic, Remy. What book? The book, the that, book that Esme has. Get I don't trust Esme. So, you're not gonna sign it? Hmm. No, God no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I know it pisses you off. This is like telling a healer, no, I don't want to be saved. Let me die. <laughs> it pissed me off because you weren't clear last time, dude. I know, but it's, now I'm just doing it intentionally. Fine, die. I don't care. Help <laughs> <laughs> me finger death your ass over and over, I love over again. <laughs> that came out that wrong. Did I not write my hand in there? Whoa. It came out wrong. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. When, when oh, the lift oh, gets kinky. No. Sarah, oh, Sarah, tell me how you really feel. No, no. Oh, it's crazy. So it's crazy. then. This oh, is so okay. good. Um, anyway, so also, also celestial resistance. Everybody gets temp five, temp temp ten HP. All right, <laughs> and cool. I get sixteen. <laughs> Neat. Oh god. I'm so happy right <laughs> now. This is like I hate to be a callback because it's such an asshole thing to do, but it reminds me of the United Clergy of Orgy. Whatever. Oh was shut up! Oh, that was, that so, was, that was so that good. Was oh good. my god! I hear, Let it die. They, that was so they good. worship. They worship Lavrosia. I hear. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Anyway. I love you, Sarah. I <laughs> know. Uh, Shut up, baby. I know it. Yeah! So, there it is. Let's focus on what we know about where we're going. We know it's being guarded by an entity known as the King of the Forest. How that's we it. That's, it. That's all we know. Well, one of two things can happen then. We can either walk around aimlessly, or we could try to find some way to summon this thing to us. Because I have a feeling that if logic has no fucking reason here, we have to stop searching and have some way for it to find us. Well, a couple things come to mind. It's guarding Ethio, which is still a place. But at the same time, what could we possibly do or possess that would summon it? Or all powerful masks? Did I memorize scrying? No, I didn't. Tio looks at you, Tass, and goes, Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
See, none of your aspects talk shit to anybody else. This is great. Yeah, what the fuck? Why do yours get to talk shit to everyone? We only get to hear talk back in our because heads. what she did is she made the aspect of Bosco, and now it's just saying what I want to say in-game. <laughs> We're also still in its quote-unquote realm. Believe, I can't believe Tio is Remy's anger translator. It really fucking is. <laughs> It's like it's like Remy's holding a yak back, and it fucking comes out with Tio's voice. So wait, does this does this no, mean that Bosco? No, better than anger translator. He's the fun translator. Does 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 this mean that Bosco and I are natural enemies? Uh, you haven't been. No. <laughs> Just right, our let's... aspects. I fucking adore you. Shut up. Uh huh. All right. Let's move on. Uh, you better. You are looking for Ethio, I'm presuming. I that is correct. Yep. <clears throat> yes, that is in the realm of the Forest King. Rough Where do we the find forest the Forest King? The wonderful forest of what? The Autumn Lair. <laughs> well, you well, seem that's... to have a little bit more of a head on your shoulders about this place and finding it. Where do we go from here to get to there? I don't have shoulders. I do have a face. Okay, walked into that one. How do we get there? Yeah, you should. <laughs> well, how do you get anywhere? Walking in a direction Start we walking. know where it is. Then let's give that a try. <laughs> that being said, time is also a factor if it's an autumn layer. We're currently in the summer layer. Is that why everything is burnt around here? Tio just looks at you. Yes. Well, I I figured, like, it would be, like, you know, verdant forests, you know, summer. Oh, it's time for plants to grow. So do we dig, do we do the same thing we did to get here? Do we dig down to get to autumn? We tried that before. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You came in through a gate. <laughs> gates then you did not that is correct all right well then how do we find one of these other gates i think it's going to say the same thing we the same way we find anything <sighs> all go right. looking well, for it well, before we go anywhere, how about we do a check and make sure the monkeys with fingers on their asses aren't actually outside? Oh, the pantomimes. That's probably be a wise, logical choice. Oh, God. I'm going to... That's what they're called? Yes. I want to stealthily open the hatch and, like, look and do, like, a periscope kind of thing and, like, look around. All right, go ahead and roll a perception check. Oh, wait, no, before I do that... Second verse, same as the first. I am casting, uh... I am casting Pass Without Trace on myself. Okay. As you cast Pass Without a Trace, you begin to hear, like, a little percussion band play up. <laughs> Task the Cobalt Ranger. He's a stealthy guy. Foo! And, like, a bunch of confetti flies out. <laughs> Task the <laughs> Cobalt Ranger. Looks at everyone. Shoots you, then you die. Foo. You're all hearing this, aren't you? You're all seeing it. It's like a little party around him. It's jam. I dispel the fucking spell. God damn it. Look, I'm looking. <laughs> that was magical. What do I roll stealth or... He's after so... your job, Panic. <laughs> he summoned the rubber band band. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I was drinking. <laughs> oh my god. Go ahead. Slowly but surely, Monty, I'm going to attempt murder on all of the players. I know, here. and we're scared of you. <laughs> uh, you all right. Come find me. Go ahead, Task, and roll a stealth check for me. 20. Soft. Nice. As you kind of, your feet touch the dried, muddy ground, you kind of can't stay low and kind of peek out from behind the wheels. Roll a perception check. Here I go. 19. 19. You don't see anything. <laughs> but... 
having a giggle there, mate. Because <laughs> I, I use the exact same cadence and gateway. You don't see anything. Oh, God, yeah, you like, did. Mm, you know, <laughs> things standing right in front of you, you don't see it. You were giving pa Caitlin a panic attack. <laughs> God. <laughs> you don't see that, But you yes. do feel something. It's colder now. Is there snow on the ground? You don't see any snow. It's cold? What the fuck? Okay. Well, I I kind of crawl back up and I look to everyone else. It's a lot colder than it was before, but I don't see anything. Winter is coming. <sighs> no, we're in the summer lair. Then why would it be cold? Oh, so, Knight, you... I think I'm going to shut up now if you have need of me. Don't be afraid to poke me. No, I think... I think I know what's going on here. So, Floor ate the Summer Queen, right? Right. That's why everything here is dead. Hmm. Hmm. That does make sense. Don't we still have the little bit of flame left? We do, we have that one panic. I have the one that <clears throat> they didn't ask for. I don't believe one piece is going to restore everything, but you think it might give us a little bit of benefit if we find anyone who would, you know, I something like that? I don't know. Uh, that might actually this... make for a good barter once we actually get to the King of the Forest. A piece of the... piece of the Summer Queen's power, it's... I don't know. Well, let's be off then. I'm heading out. Okay. Greckles what? wanders to himself. I wonder what would happen if we ate that thing. You'd be on fire. <laughs> I was actually kind of curious about that. Uh -huh. I'm, resistant to, I'm resistant to fire, but so, I don't know what else it would do to me, so probably not. It feels like some sort of a last resort type of thing. I wonder if I eat this red thing that comes out of the stove when I turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like ouch. You can now, drink lava once. <laughs> now, question. Um, Forbidden fruit juice. Uh, not pass on the chase. A uh, silence cannot be cast on a movable object, correct? No, no. only in one right. location. One yeah. location. Right. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. You know what we could, Tess, you know what we could do? It would take time, but it would save resources. We could ritualistically cast that and ambush these little things if we need to. Even more of an idea, can we not just use the actual caravan and, you know, just Move. cast silence on it. Well, I see your logic there, but it's a makes us a pretty big target. Plus, someone's got to carry the thing. I suppose so. All right. Well, I'm out of ideas. If we have nothing else, I say we just pick a direction and be off. Then, actually, one last thing. Uh, T are, are are you are you still there? Yep. How did you pull this thing anyway? How did it have, move? And I have no idea. You you know that 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 two panel comic of the guy raising his finger and then it drops down with the mouth half shut. That's him right now. Maybe I should get some griffins. There's All a right. powerful I can... aura of emanating off of Remy right now. I could probably polymorph into something that could carry the card, but I don't want to do that. All right, then let's just be off then. Again, let us pick a direction. I have bone dice. I can just, like, roll a 1d8 and pick a cardinal direction. Go ahead. Weren't there some kind of connections with cardinal directions and... Weather. Oh, it just means that we would be going backwards. So, north, 
What? North. Hold on. North, northeast, west. Okay, so we would head east. You're going. We. You're going east. I almost said west, and I, I was really about to I was, bear myself there. That's yeah. west, Patrick. <laughs> you're fired again. All right. What's the marching order? Huh. Oh. Put me in front. Going... I can see shit. Task in the front. Uh, put me after task. Freckles. <clears throat> I'm going to snap the collar of my studded leather armor and is going to turn into a fashionable padded leather coat with fur. And I'm going to walk in the middle. Esme? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go after panic. Also, shing, mage armor. Gotcha. Remy, you go taking up the rear? Yeah, I have to protect my family. Oh. Yeah, you're fin All right, which, which which Fast and Furious one is this one, Remy? It's the Faced and the Furious. <laughs> oh! oh! That's the title! Oh! <laughs> That's the title! You, can't, you cannot but we're not. Me. We're not going fast, though. We're going <laughs> very <laughs> slow. That, if that's it's backwards math, it's logic, it's face shit. Sure. <laughs> so we're going weast? We're going weast. Yes. Sure. All right. You guys begin to walk. How do you navigate? You just keep walking? Um... Are there still trees around? Yeah, they're more tangled and different. They're not I'd, perfect rows. I'd imagine I would just do the same thing I have been doing. Get to a certain point, see if I could find a landmark that's interesting. Okay. Uh, roll a perception check then for me. Sure thing. Oh, what the fuck? 22. As you climb up one of the trees after walking for about an hour and a half, you see off in the far distance a cluster of red-capped mushrooms, very large in size. Hmm. I, I, I climb back down. There are oh, mushrooms, about as, mushrooms about as big as a tree off in that distance. You can click on Wallfly. Oh, sorry. I apologize. Also, uh, I'm an idiot. I'm going to do something real quick before we continue. I'm I'm going to take the f the flame of the Summer Queen that was in that bottle mm. and I'm going to transfer it to my hooded lantern. Okay. As you do so, the area around you becomes a comfortable temperature. And the grass at your feet turns into lush summer grass. And where the light touches, the bark of the tree comes to life. And there's a warm summer breeze that enters the space. Pog. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Connor, well done. Oh, God. Just sucked all the mysticism right out the room. <laughs> I'm sure hope, the others noticed I this. hope chat is spamming the shit out of Pog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, Everywhere... I'm assuming the others noticed this. Yeah, it's very obvious. The what, grass the light or the Pog? Of light. <laughs> you are my little Pog champ. <laughs> Anywhere where the ambient light touches almost brings the space around you back to life. And what happens when it moves away? It reverts right back to what it was. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. Gross. I'm gonna... I'm gonna lower the, the hood on the lantern. As you do so, all of the grass around you just goes back into that strange silvery color and the tree bark returns to its burnt hue. Mm, probably best if I don't 
want that in other places. Let's Kingdoms? A, Queendoms? Let's not get a lot of attention. Right. Although I, it's not literally burning a hole in my pocket anymore. At least I I guess at the, that point I like crawl down from the tree and I tell them that there's a mushroom, there's literally tree-sized mushrooms off in the distance. Mm. Oh boy. We, we could just keep going and walk around it and see if there's anything else that doesn't seem, you know, ill-fated. That's preferable. Hmm. And we'll continue, conti we'll continue on the path we are going and avoid the mushroom forest. Okay. You guys avoid the mushroom forest and make your way. I shall roll perception again. Okay, go ahead. Here I go. Oh, oh thank God. Just ignore it. Hmm. It doesn't matter. I had the spyglass. I would have just defaulted to 18 anyway. Ah. So you're. As your walking task, and given your nature as a ranger, you begin to notice ropes in various locations hanging from trees. And there are traps laid out in various different corners of this forest. So I, I guess I'll just, like, stop everyone. And I point out a couple man-made contraptions. Are these, like, traps that are intended to get us? Or are they, like, old traps that have already been sprung? Some of them have been sprung. Some of them haven't. There are, like, bear traps. Um, there's, like, noose traps. Big net traps that are meant to catch prey in some manner. They look abandoned, but also still usable. Hmm. Who would need to hunt out here? Who would be hunting out here? Can I tell what the make of the already sprung trap was looks like to possibly like pinpoint who made this? Roll a <clears throat> history check. Eleven. You have not a clue. It is unnecessarily vicious. The bear traps are like almost like shark teeth in design. Like the points, like the triangular points, have barbs that run down the length, running down. Jeez. Can the I... ropes themselves appear to be made out of human hair. Ew. Oh. Ooh, gross. Could could this like realm get any weird and grosser? I know I'm setting myself up the fall there, but like, I mean, I mean you're, you're in the meat zone before. The, the oh. ropes could have been made of skin. You're just giving ideas. I hope you know that. This. That doesn't make like, any sense. Though. Like the realm doesn't already have these ideas to ask. I want to pick up a rock and throw it at one of the traps to set him off. Okay. You grab a rock, you and it, and it sucks inwards. And as the net kind of sucks inwards. Uh, you notice that on the inside are almost like these balls, like these iron balls that are almost like sea urchins. They're spiked, and they all kind of bounce inside of the net trap itself. Oh, this is yo, messed up. Yo, that's actually metal. I want to I want to disassemble that trap and see if I can actually collect the iron balls. Okay, go ahead for me. And you don't have tinkerer's tools, so go ahead for me and roll just a general dexterity check for me. Okay. 16. All right. The rest of you roll perception checks. Oh. 10. 19. I rolled double ones. It's a nat 20. This is uh, audible, so unfortunately. Fucking 18 to... then, Monty. Sorry. Natural one. Panic, you're keeping your eyes out. Esme, Remy, and Greckles. As task, you pocket about three of these balls. They're about the size of like a small bowling ball each. Sick. And they're he they're pretty heavy. You collect three of them. Esme, Greckles, and Remy, you hear almost the sound of metal boots in the distance approaching. Heavy metal footfalls. Not uh, like Remy might crank, oh. but more akin to armor shoes. 
Some... Remy is going to pull out his sword and his shield, and he's going to move to the front of the group. Remy, this is probably a bad time to do that. We need to hide. We don't know what's coming. <sighs> Remy, Remy is going to look to you, then look at the absolutely humongous piece of armor he's in, and then look back to you. <laughs> Suit yourself, then. Uh, Monty, I'm going to find somewhere to duck behind. All right, do you guys want a group stealth check? That is an option if you wish to try and hide behind some of these trees and stay still. I am. Uh, yeah, well. it would, I think it would be wise for me considering I'm the range boy. Okay. And uh, Esme's going to slap Remy and give him guidance. Okay. Oh, it's like I'm Kel. Oh. Remy, are uh, you staying out? If everybody's going to hide, I'll hide with them. All right, okay. group stealth check then. All right. No plus 10. 25, then that 20 on the other side. 22. Seven. 10. Bless your guidance. <clears throat> Roll your four. Roll 20 Y. Yep, I saw that coming. That's a one. That's a <laughs> Oh, no. It's something. Okay. As you guys kind of hide and duck behind trees. You all kind of peek out to see what approaches. <clears throat> These heavy footfalls creep around the corner, and you see a gnomish looking entity. Huh? huh? With a large red cap that runs down their back, oh. a oh. mustache oh. and beard. Oh, oh no. No. Their oh, arms fuck. are elongated and kind of come to gnarled claws at the end. And they're wearing heavy iron boots and kind of slacked loosely at the side is this sort of massive scythe like weapon. Oh, oh fuck's sake, I know no. what you are. Yeah, I do too. It walks over to the trap that you had tripped, looks it over. <sighs> you begin to watch as it begins to pulley the trap back into position. It has not noticed you. Oh. Holding my breath until it's gone. Should, should we let this thing just be on its merry fucking way and then we move on, or do we attack it now? No, let's just... Mm, let's not. You watch as it, like, lifts up its vest jacket, kind of reaches inside, and pulls out a human foot. and just kind of chucks it into, like, kind of the center of the trap as it finally sets it. You kinda, it kind of peers around, and as it peers, you kind of duck behind the trees. Takes off. Task with your intelligence. You would know that he's heading off to that cluster of mushrooms, which actually might be a village. Oh, I'm so glad we didn't go. Yeah. Hmm. When he's clear and completely fucking gone, I look to everyone else. We press forward, and we do not look back at the Mushroom Village. Greckles nods very intently. <laughs> Check for traps, however. But let's... I'm going to roll a perception and see if I can find us a path that diverts away from the traps. Okay. Is, is there I... any way that... Is there any way that we would know Ugh. what that is? Not precisely? at all. No, no way. <laughs> Monty, can I, can I also assistant role perception to try and find a way around here. Sure, I'll allow it. Yeah, 14. 15. I'll say, I'll say group perception tra uh, check to get through any other traps that may exist. Woo. Also, I know this is kind of like, it, it might not mean anything, but what do the spike balls 18. look like they're made of? Iron or something else? Um, 15. Some metal of some kind. It looks like, what it looks like to you is like mace, you know, the, 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 like a flail spike. Oh, so I got like a morning star head. Yeah, but it's been like, you know, carved off and like the actual points have been filed down to be even more sharp. Hmm. Less bludgeoning and more needle-like. Cool. I have this idea and I'm so curious what would happen if we, if you did it. But I think that's above gaming or metagaming. No, 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 no. What's your idea? I just want to see what that flame and panic lantern would do to that creature. 
I are curious. I would be curious, but I don't know if we want to gamba that. Hmm. All right. As you guys continue forward, you do manage to point out the traps. They're not particularly well laid, given that there's not a whole lot of grass here. Um, notably, you do notice at one point, tacked to one of the trees is one of the pantomimes. Mm. And Ooh. it has been flayed open, and the organs in like the chest cavity are missing, and the tail is missing as well. Uh. Oh, wait, Molly, well, hello. I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, you said that the red cap actually, like, took a human foot and put it into the trap as bait? Yeah. Okay, so there are intelligent-based life forms around here. Just not very nice. Well, if the pantomimes are anything to go off of, people have wandered in here. Mm -hmm. To be fair, we don't know that. Well, they were saying stuff like, please don't eat me, oh god, run, and stuff, so they must have encountered people who yeah. didn't live here. Well, let's... I mean, we don't we don't know that they're not friendly. Okay. No. Uh... Man just pulled a human foot out for bait. I wouldn't <laughs> trust that as far as I could throw him. I'm I don't know it's human. I'm gonna, gra I'm gonna go up that tree once more and see if I can find anything else. That's not a mushroom forest. Okay, go ahead and climb up the tree and roll a perception check. 12. 12. You are thoroughly lost. Damn. Tess, you want me to climb up and have a look? I right, here. I pass up the spyglass. Okay, let's see here. Do it with advantage. Do it, Hansel. If if that's all right, Money. Yeah, go ahead. 15. Good. You are thoroughly Ooh. lost. Fucking... Oh... I mean, were we were we ever going in a direction that we knew in the first place? Not really. Just as long as that direction is not into a fucking maw of red caps. Could we? We could. Could we? Mm, have we gone far enough away that we would not be able to discern the trap area compared to you where guys we're have going? avoided the trap area? You are now far out of it, like an hour okay, and a half cool. out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure about distance. Does anything look particular around here? Somehow more dead. Wait, Panic, can you try the light? It may do something. I, I will raise the lantern. Okay. The, hooded, the, the hood of the lantern. You open the hood of the lantern, and as you do, the ground at your feet turns to cobblestone. Huh? Oh, God. Oh. Ooh. White marble cobblestone framed in a lattice design of silvers, reminiscent of elven make. Does that look like a path? It looks like something. It's the best thing we got to go on right now. Well, let, let's follow it in the direction we came, away from the direction we came in. It doesn't just revive the land. It revives the queendom. I'll I'll keep I'll keep the hood up and I'll I'll just sort of like wave it back and forth slowly to see if I can find an edge to this cobblestone path. You do so. It seems to be some sort of like plaza space, like an open space. And as you proceed further and walk, suddenly apparating just in front of you comes a chair made out of curved white wood <laughs> adorned in summer flowers. It just comes into being as the light touches a space. Next to it comes a table, and next to that, on the other side, another chair. I place my hand on the table. It is solid. I shake it, and it gives, like, like you know, not to, like, flip yeah, it or anything. You rattle it, and it's a solid table. I'll pick up one. I'll pick up one of the chairs and move it out of the area of light. As you do so... You ever see cotton candy when it touches water, it just disappears? Nice. Mm -hmm. As you do so, it just vanishes. Well, it seems if we have move, our hint. If you move the light towards it, will it still be floating in the air or will it be on the ground? 
As Panic moves back towards the chair, it's just on the ground as if it's been dropped there. Oh. Oh. Huh. Weird. It's like we're working in another dimension. Well, I mean, we are, but... Um, so I look on the floor. It's the cobblestone still? Yeah, it's like a really nice marble cobblestone. I want to look around the area and see if it indicates that we're in, like, the area we're standing in it was supposed to be some kind of structure. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming with Panic holding the lantern, you guys move around. Yeah. As you do, you see more tables and chairs, um, and eventually you reach one section and you hear flowing water, and as you lift up the lantern, like, half of a fountain flows on one side. Okay, we're still outside then. We're not, like, in a building. I was a, I was a, expecting us to, like, run face first into a wall. You don't suppose that if we shine this light around, we'll eventually see a person on the other side, will you? I don't know if it would work like that. This, this seems to almost turn back time. If anything, if anything, it might give us a path. If all of these, if all of these different seasonal areas are interconnected, that is. Well, then let's move forward and follow this road. Maybe we'll actually find something. Okay. As you proceed forward, panic holding the lantern, the plaza narrows into a pathway framed by massive burnt trees. And as you travel, the air is getting colder and colder. I want a perception check. Go ahead. For real. Uh, hey. No, no, I want in on. I want 11. in on that. Fifteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay. Thirteen. Remy. Oh, it's for all of us. Yep. Wait, I rolled persuasion. What am I doing? <laughs> I talked to the I, air. I, could, I couldn't answer that for 24. you. 24. There we go. That's better. Just do better. 12. Okay. Greckles. Esme. Just Greckles and Esme will hear this. I see. I see. I see. What? Wait, I remember hearing that. When I when I picked up the other flame, I heard that same voice, that same sound, that same line. You don't have to talk. Your intentions speak. Do we both hear that? Or is it just Christ? Everyone's hearing that now. And Ooh. I know. The thing in your pocket. I know what it's feeling. And you hear a twig snap above. And as you all turn and look up, this is what you see. Oh, great. Right, the mind again. Ultima. Big monkey. Pro probably undead queen. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Is that I... who I think it is? Staring down at you, you see a lanky, strange, elven form with arms too long and fingers too jointed, ears the biggest you've ever seen on any elven form, almost like a burnt-out husk with only a bit of warmth at their throat, staring down at you is the remaining husk of the Summer Queen. And as she looks down at you, she cocks her head, her owl-like gaze staring into your soul. I see through you. And that's where we're going to end the session for today. Oh, oh yeah! God. Yeah. Damn, please, Seeing this is a Denny's. you next month, everybody. Oh, boy. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Have fun. Austin. Art Ma by Zeus Draws, by the way, who did a very good job with this one. The Austin. Mm. This ma'am, this is a Denny's, please. <laughs>
I don't think you understand, Task. This is her Denny's. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> You've invaded her. She Denny's. owns the franchise. Oh, fuck! I want to speak to your manager. I am the manager. <laughs> One eighty-two. One eighty-two, and that's where we're gonna leave it off for a month till yep. November. Uh... It's going to be cold here before we play this again. Oh, yeah. 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 Perfect temperature. Perfect temperature for this. Oh. Yeah, can we actually get a link to the artist? Someone in chat actually mentioned something cool. Uh, this is Zeus Draws. They have a Fiverr. I don't have their link, unfortunately. Aww. I think I sent it to you, Zito. You did, but I, I was yeah. like, hmm. So I don't know if you have that on hand, but this is Zeus Draws. You can find them. It's Z-O-O-S-D-R-A-W-S. -O -O -S I believe they're also on Twitter. Um, if they post the artwork, I will retweet it. You should definitely give them a follow. They do fantastic work. Why a month? The because it's it's Gobtober. In it's October. Gobtober, baby. That's the right. Might be worth, might be worth, uh, do we want to play the trailer again? We could, yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. We'll, we'll put it at both ends of the, of the funny show, and I'll do better at introducing it this time. Hold on. I'm going to jump over to the slideshow, and I'm going to try and fix the... Uh... Actually, nope, that is not going to work. Oh, that's the, that's Ravenloft. That's another time. There we go. Hold on. Let me grab it. I have to grab the link again, so give me a hot second here. Holding on. I'm beholding. Alright. Here we go. Our trailer for October, but first I have to turn off the music. Alright. Oh shit. God damn it. <clears throat> Are you ready, chat? I know I'm ready. All right, for those of you guys who missed it. Search ye far or search ye near, you'll find no trace of the three. Unless you follow instructions clear, for the weapons abide with me. North, past forest, farm, and furrow, you must go to the feathered mound. Then down away from the sun you'll burrow. Forget life, forget light, forget sound. I care not for my owner's brave. What heroes you seek to hire. Though mighty, I'll make each one my slave. Or send him to the fire. <laughs> no, no, no! Those guys have had it good for too long! Now it's our turn! <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Monty! Monty? Oh, no, Raven lost she was her. so startled by my amazing, my amazing uh, video editing skills that she fell right out of her chair. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, uh, I, I should probably just say again real quick what we're going to be doing for October. So 
Uh, taking the place of the Wednesday shows uh, is going to be uh, White Plume Mountain, a tale from the Yawning Portal, uh, with an all goblin cast controlled by Lenny Pator, Boobs McBalron, Therapod Art, Gaijin Goomba, and Mark Allen Jr. Yay. As they join the hunt for three legendary weapons. Uh, and this will be, all be taking place on a brand new virtual tabletop, Astral Tabletop. Uh, and yeah, I hope hope to see you there. Gonna be a good time, let me tell you. Gonna be fun. That was a good session. I'm really happy with how that yeah. session went. Yeah, it was pretty solid. Good one to leave off on for a while. Oh, mm -hmm. boy. So many questions answered, yet so many more questions come. Oh, yeah. Well, should we make the rounds? Connor. I suppose we should, yes. Uh... Bosco, where can they find you? What are you up to? They can find me here, doing stuff. Ah. DM, they're DMing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're gonna be DMing Ravenloft every Saturday as well throughout the month. Oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Y'all gonna want to tune in. Ah uh, shit. Gaijin Goomba, where can I find you, and what are you up to? Oh, I'm doing too much. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, as well as YouTube, same name, as well as Gaijin Perspective, my second channel, of which I am working on a brand new video, breaking down a very unappreciated aspect of the Weeptastic movie, Last Samurai. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. Uh, aside from that, working on a new cultural analysis video from Fate of all franchises. i am be looking in, into uh, Shuten Doji. I have a lot of aesthetic updates that I'm currently working on for all different kinds of things. It's going to be a lot of fun. This weekend, uh, as we stream Saturday and Sunday at 7 p.m., uh, I'm going to be busting out this uh, tactics game called uh, Skulls of the Shogun. And it is the most Looney Tunes thing ever. Imagine, imagine a Japanese general that is too angry to die, takes over hell, and uh, Mary Melody's like shenanigans takes place. That's that's gonna be me for the next week or so. I only have one day of my time of, of my uh, vacation left tomorrow. I am very very thankful that so many people have allowed me to take it. I have needed it for so long. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back to the grind with a whole lot of other things going on. Awesome. Hey, Zito, where can they find you and what are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter, the Ever Reagan Almanac on Patreon. You may want to keep an eye on that Patreon coming very soon, because, uh, the reason why I'm not going to be in on the Saturday games is because I will be doing something for TFS on Tuesdays. What is that something? Here, look at this link. It may give you an idea. Just an idea, but nothing more until the actual video is posted on TFS. Uh, you can also find me on my Twitch doing a bunch of indie games, uh, lots of modded games, stuff like uh, Arthurian Legends, where it's literally Doom, but with swords. It's great! It it's so fucking dumb good. It's it's you like just fucking carving up Saxons in, in the. It's so fucking weird. And then there's giant spiders and shit. The bees. Uh, and, and the bee. Yeah, the fucking bees that turn into <laughs> acid goop. Like what the fuck? Oh yeah. Did you know that Ar King Arthur had fucking grenades? Yeah. Holy hand <laughs> grenade of Antioch in it. Yeah. Yeah. The holy hand grenade was there too in the fucking loo of all places. It's funny um. To worry about it. Oh yeah, and also uh, the goblin, uh, not the goblin plush, the kobold plush, the the collab between me and Joe Cat. Today is the last day for you to get in on the pre-order for the kobold plush. Uh, you should actually look at Joe Cat's Twitter. He has a cute little video where I soiled it by recreating a scene from the room with the kobold and the goblin plush. Where's my fucking money, Denny? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, yeah. Uh, like, well, like I said, just keep an eye on the Patreon a little bit longer, because uh, I'm actually going to be eking out stuff for the new setting I'll be working on things with as the time as time goes on. So you'll get races, uh, setting information, and maybe even the adventure or at something at the end of the day. Uh, once this uh, little thing is all said and done, I might actually give it out to the public. Awesome. All right. Sarah, where can they find you and what are you up to? I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an H and with an E, Willia. I'm not doing anything for October because everything's stopping. I've already shilled. Yay! You're my little hog. Yeah. Hog. I like to imagine the Summer Queen was watching that entire time when I said Pog. She just sort of shook her head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cringe. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you have posted cringe. cringe. Now you're going to lose Fey Kingdom. <laughs> the whole thing. You're going to lose glamour. I see you are cringe. <laughs> and not based. <laughs> Your cringe. <laughs> Your cringe compilation. <laughs> Monty, where can they find you, and what are you going to be up to? Murdering you both. Um, <laughs> you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, and you can find me at Twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Streams will be returning in the coming weeks. Um, I am coming back to Canada tomorrow, unless something happens. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Connor. Um, so yeah, no. Uh, thank you guys. So this session was really good. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. And yeah, thank yeah. you to chat for being patient with the audio stuff in these past few episodes, because obviously a different setup. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, but I am on vacation now, officially, like actually on vacation break wise once I get home. So that's going to be very interesting. Awesome. All right. And they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream in Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I'm playing some tabletop games with my buddies, Hey Mr. Rabbit and Count Widget. Uh, playing some fun party games, Jackbox, Guilty Gear, stuff like that on Fridays. Saturdays, playing through the Akaza series. And Sundays, I'm playing through Wildermyth. Be sure to check out Dead House Sonata, action RPG where you play as the dead to fight the living. Uh, at the link, it's going to be posted in the chat here real quick. You already know what it is. They got a lot of fun stuff coming down the pipeline. And speaking of fun stuff coming down the pipeline, check out my DMs Guild, where I'm going to be releasing the Fanged King Warlock Pack sometime within October. It's a vampire-themed Warlock Pack. And as always, I'd like to thank our lovely sponsor for today's escapades, Die Hard Dice. Money. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid you left me. <laughs> it's, 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 the, it's the it's the post session just power down. Yeah. You hear that? That's the sound of some uh, dice that got rolled. That's the sound of a red cap not noticing you guys. <laughs> that is the sound of uh, a combat avoided. I had a chase sequence in mind. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we didn't get chased by red caps of all things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would have been really fun. Indeed. Uh, Die Hard Dice has a, a large selection of uh, many different sizes, shapes, and colors of dice with which to uh, make your party run away from red caps with. On top of all these dice and dice accessories. You can go to your local hobby store and shop online for Die Hard Dice. See if they have them there. And if you do use the online store, you can use the coupon code THEUNEXPECTABLES to get 10% off your order at DieHardDice.com. And with that, it Thanks is time 
Mm -hmm. Can I show mm -hmm. one more thing? Sure. I actually didn't. I, I really kind of felt bad that I didn't mention this. But uh, the thing that I was mentioning before for uh, TFS, I posted the artist in the uh, in the chat. It's kind of criminal how they don't have a lot of followers. You should absolutely check them out. They're called Mocking oh. Moth. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Support your artists. Support the artists, please. Unless they're dork-ass nerds and you shove them in lockers and then you support them after. Like Pharaoh. Yeah. <laughs> we just went and live. Back. <laughs> Man, man, <laughs> Mocking Moth's actually a really huge dork ass nerd, so that's actually about, gonna bode that's gonna bode very poorly. I don't know about Zeus Draws because like they they only hired them for a little time, so you know. He's very tall. I I've heard he's very tall, so I'm like I don't wanna fight him. <laughs> Fair enough assessment. Alright, with that, it's time to read off some bits and sims. Yeah. Astra GG, thank you for the Prime sub for two months. I'm just here to drop a Prime sub. Bye. Have fun with Gobtober. The Holy Carp, thank you for the two months. Greasy X Spoon, thank you for the 18 months. Mud Martin, thank you for the 18 months as well. Lycus Darkfang, thank you for the 17 months. My buddy said that Jinx is basically Magitek Florida woman. <laughs> uh, not wrong. Adam CW, thank you for the 13 months. That John guy, thank you for the 15 months. Ivan the Vandal, thank you for the 16 months of Prime. I made this message with explosive runes. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, they didn't go off. Thank goodness. Achilles Nipple, thank you for the 17 months of Prime. Can't stay, uh, can't stay, still listening to the last episode. See you in the VODs. Uh, Nico Cost, thank you for the four months. Please explain the 21 joke. Okay. So there's this kid, right? And I, it's either his dad or his brother's making fun of him. He says, you're stupid. And the kid's like, no, I'm not. And then the, the guy says, what's nine plus 10? And the kid thinks for a moment. And he replies, 21. And then he says, you're stupid. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> Siren's eyes, thank you for the 18 months. Uh, Gaben's Prophet, thank you for the five months. <laughs> Episode title, Gaben. Episode title, Fortune Favors the Bold. I hope that was worth the wait. <laughs> oh, God. Ace Bounty, thank you for the four months. Uh, oh, hey, what fun. Hey, Connor, idea for a new class, the Puppeteer Bard. It's creepy and interesting at the same time. Maybe. No, you're gonna want to. You're gonna want to stick around to see what I have planned for the bard. That's gonna be the last subclass I release. Steam Brain, thank you for the Prime Sieb for 17 months with the message CM Punk. Indeed. Hey, Mr. Rabbit, thank you for the raid with a party of 37. Hey, hey I know that. Hey, I know that. I know that guy. He he was he was streaming with my wife earlier. I know that guy too. He's one of my best friends. Oh, Gaijin, did he touch the box? Uh, we only opened the door. That, but... No, 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 no. See, you hesitated. No, no. See, here's the thing. You didn't specify which box because the sacred box has been left untouched. But the housing of the box, yeah, we let him in. Hmm. Motherfucker. I see. <laughs> see. <laughs> I almost said something there, but I don't want to know. Good. <laughs> Good. You don't, know, you don't need to know about the box. Shut up. It's fair, fair enough. I see. I shouldn't be talking about people's boxes. No, you shouldn't. Yeah. You got to earn the right to touch someone's box. Can we keep Q going? Shark, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> <laughs> Long time watcher since the near beginning. First time bit drop. Love the show and what you guys do. Uh, helped me get into D and D. Currently in a game where I'm playing a Monster Slayer Ranger. Ooh, I've wanted to try that one for a while. Title suggestion: The Fates and the Furious. I really like the uh, the Fates and the Furious. I'm the, sorry. The Fates and the Furious. <laughs> it was I, really good. It's really you want good. To go face. Uh, it's kind of something that all comes along at the perfect moment. You kind of can't. You can't yeah. not. I, mean, I wrote can't skip this. So. I'll type it in. There are Discord just the faced. The faced. <laughs> Would you like to go faced? 
Oh, yes. Uh, Durgan247, thank you for the 100 bits. I'm getting Skyward Sword vibes from the Lantern, especially the time travel desert part. Ooh. Oh. I do love that part of that game, I will not lie. Pretty good. The Goblet of Unmaking, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, Taking a Chance. Also Faceless42, thank you for the 10 bits. Floor, you jerk. Look what you've done. The chat's fantastic. <laughs> family. A family. 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 I kind of like family too. Yeah, we're using that for next one then. Uh, <laughs> Faceless42, thank you for the 10 bits. Floor, you jerk. Look what you've done. Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, episode title, Fortune Favors the Bold. Have we not used that one? I we don't not. think we have, actually. I think it's because it's too long is why we haven't used it. Mm, yeah. Okay. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 100 bits. Fun time, Welp. I've got a wizard to build. Y'all have a lovely night. Indeed. Flustered Bun, thank you for the 10 bits. The Unexpectables returns four days before my birthday. Woo, nice birthday gift. Happy almost birthday. Deeb. Yee. Yeah. Hail Ward, thank you for the 500 bits. Well, after a very long time, I am now back to work just in time for Gobtober. Have a cupcake bits for my new title as Confectioner. Ooh. Yo. Hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> Sexy title right there. I I'm putting something in memes. It's not really, but you guys should see this if you haven't. It's kind of awesome. I will oh my God. Here. Isn't it amazing? Yeah! I can't. I can't. Holy crap. Florida man. <laughs> oh my god, it is Florida man. Hold my beard. Oh my god. What a feature. <laughs> god Incredible. bless you, Annette. Hey, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fantastic Callum, thank you for the... 100 bits. Man, has it already been a year? I still remember the mistake of staying up till 4 a.m. for the Ravenloft finale. It was amazing and made me cry, but it made my sleep schedule cry even more. Uh -huh, there you go. Uh, fantastic, Callum. Thank you for the additional 100 bits. Oh, God, I just realized the posts on the Unexpectables Twitter were hints for October. Fuck! That's right. Yeah. We have cryptic messages in our tweets, you know. I like the last one, which was which was just Tober. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like to Booyah one two three. Thank you for the Trini Rant bits. River Rat, thank you for the one hundred bits. Fantastic, Callum. Thank you for the one hundred bits. Did you hear the? The, the, the poor Irish pumpkin farmer had his centuries-old pumpkin torch stolen. He reported that the robbers jacked old lantern. Um, you fucking suck. <laughs> you fucking didn't suck! Even, didn't even give it a number rating, just says you fucking suck. <laughs> X Wally Willy. Thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title of Faye to Encounter. And that's about it. That's about the score of it. All right. Who do we want to <sighs> rank? I mean, Thero did come on, I believe. Um, yeah. We have Arkolf as well. Um, Arkolf! We also have Cyfree as well. Um, I think Arkolf would be a good one. We were talking about Arkolf. Yeah. Let's read Arkolf. We like Arkolf. Yeah. 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 All right, what will our raid message be? Family. Family? Family. Right. family. family. Not, not Pog. When you're here, you're family. <laughs> our raid message will be family. Go. Bye, guys. Ew. <laughs> <laughs>